Having part, Robert, is that Graham Corns has come off the field. Obviously, he's chosen to be on the interchange bench with John Allen. We had him in the original lineup. Everything in readiness for the big game. Harris against Graham. Gary Christie at the centre bounce. It's Harris's tap away. Marnie can't get the ball clear. Magnificent conditions for football. Down they go. Clifford almost got his foot to the ball to kick the ball clear. But the umpire most certainly will come and separate players for a bounce. Umpire Des Forster, supported by Adrian Forster. David Baker against Christie. Baker got up high. Cleverly done. Bradley charts Anderson. Throws it away. Oh, under pressure there was uh, the Port Adelaide player. And finally, Naley comes away from South Adelaide. Wobbles an awkward one up towards the Bickler. The Bickler is taken out by Leslie. And the free kick will go the way of the South centre half forward. John's the Bickler. On the lead is Harris, but he's going over to the other side, Dewhurst. Dewhurst is going into the pocket, looking for Haitley. Anderson getting back, not quickly enough. Haitley's got it, right forward pocket, 30 metres out on a 45 degree angle. A crowd of possibly 15, 16,000. Unbelievable conditions. No breeze at all. Haitley towards the scoreboard end. Kick underway, that's home. South off to a fine start. Well, no, no, no doubt about Ron Hakeley. He loves those open spaces. And uh, the mistake was initially made in the centre where, uh, or at centre-half forward, where Leslie was into the back of Snee Bickler. Now, Bradley came in to stand the mark, and that's Bradley's man, Dewhurst. He went down forward. Hakeley got the kick. I don't know that it was meant for him. Harris was also leading, but uh, Hakeley took the mark and kicked the goal. A great start to the Panthers. David Baker against Christie, got the benefit of the bounce coming up high was Bradley who got it away Brooksby, collared, kicked into attack now by Dwayne Russell up towards the forward pocket, Evans comes to meet the ball, Bennett back in defence, throws it out to Brooksby Haley back in defence, try to get it back to Brooksby, Naley again in the back pocket, close to the line Marnie comes in and the ball goes out I think there's a free kick being given uh, Ian, it's going to Stephen Knight um, the umpire came in and had a chat to Bennett, Stephen Knight, the free kick at right half forward flank. Stephen Knight, of course, started the season extremely well. He's an opportunist half forward. He hails from Footscray in the VFL. He's a bit of a character as well. Gee, looks to be confident in the kick, taking plenty of time. Puts the ball right up into the teeth of goal. Evans there. He's got it. No, nope, off hands. Brooks be cleared. A chance for Bennett as he taps it out. Haradine it was who got the high tackle. The player who made the mistake was Dwayne Russell. We'll have a look at it in replay and uh, if ever there was a high tackle, it was that one. Down he goes. Snoo Bickler missed the mark. On the run through it's Martin Leslie. He shuffles the ball out. Kim Kinnear. A backward screw punt back to Knight. Knight's got it again. Right half forward flank. Not productive on the first move and in Port Adelaide, but it's in a half forward now. Anderson over the top, couldn't take the mark. Bomber Clifford got a high one, down he goes. Russell Ebert in there, so is Anderson. Now Bradley, taken off hands on that occasion by Christie. He kicks the ball forward. Dewhurst again in it for South Adelaide. Up it goes towards Slattery. He gets the push in the back and the umpire has given him the free kick. Des Foster, the umpire who gave that decision, also says 15 metres against the All-Australian halfback in Stephen Curtis. Been a live wire slattery in recent weeks. We saw him last week at Thibodeau Oval, run amuck. Wayne Slattery, kick on the way, it'll land in the square, up they go, big leap over the top from the big full forward in Darren Harris, a point to South Adelaide, 1-1, Port Adelaide yet to score. New full back, Graham Robinson to kick Port Adelaide into play. <laughs> Looking for Har uh, Harris, Baker in front, he's got it. Belt drives the ball towards centre wing. Underneath it was Stephen Williams. Wayne Russell, too much strength, did that run well. Evans on the lead, puts it up towards that player. He's going to have to half volley it, can't quite get down to it. Palmer can't, should be a goal to Russell Ebert. If they can get it across to him, they can't. Knight goes down, holding the ball, said the umpire. Russell Ebert say, why didn't you handball? He said, I was waiting for it. And the ball goes right across from White. Beats Hakeley out of play. May have been on the full. Let's have a look. Or is it going to be a throw-in? A throw-in on the outer side. 
Yeah, while Russell Ebert was telling Knight all about it too, and he's uh, Russell Ebert's own man was making a space. Brookby with that strap around the thigh, Palmer over the top, put a hand on a Port Adelaide shoulder, I would think, and the free kick is going the way of Russell Ebert in the left full forward pocket. We'll make the distance easily, a 60 degree angle. Towards the River Torrens end. Kick going across the face, I believe. Was that a goal? Yes, a goal. Well done, Russell Ebert. 1-1 one, one, South Adelaide, one goal for. Back to the action, South into attack, Kapler onto the boot, looking for Harris, up he goes, the big punch away from Robertson, scouting for the ball, Snee Bickler concedes ground to Ron Hately, he started off extremely well, he's got a free movement now, the kick on the way, it won't score a goal, fair close. <laughs> Bounced off the body in front, off John Harvey, and that was a good catch by Fairclough, great use of the body, well done. David Fairclough runs around on the mark, comes in for the kick, it won't score a goal, right across the face of goal, in fact, and we'll see a ball in. Port Adelaide a goal. South 1-1. Port Adelaide making a few errors. I'm a little bit surprised that they're not giving the ball straight away as they were earlier in the year. It's unlike them. Here's another chance. Slattery through the legs he went with it. Kapler got it over to Darrell Hewitt. Daryl Hewitt delayed that one to Hately. Quick kick away, Hately. Not too good. Belton ran out of bounds, and we'll see the umpire throw it in again. South seven points. Port Adelaide six. Played eight minutes of the first quarter. Good crowd. 15, 16,000. Baker got the handball good. The tap down looking for Leslie. Players pile up again, and the umpire will come in and bounce in the right forward pocket. Anthony Williams with the ball. Only seven minutes gone, not eight. Baker against the Bickler. Baker did it easily. Leslie got it from Belton. Cross goal. Chance out Adelaide. Trying to pick the ball up for the Panthers there. Harrod Dean can't get it clear. Curtis under pressure. Harvey on top of the ball again. And the umpire will come in and bounce once more. Peter, I couldn't believe a better turf to play on. It's the best in, uh, well, when I say the best, it's probably the, the equal of football park. It's a different type of grass, but uh, both very good. Baker got it away. Belton again. Who did he handball it to? Butler stopped the ball very well. Looks for a player in support. Couldn't find one initially. Brooks became in very heavily. Harradine again. Playing well, Harradine. Over to Hately. Very indirect, but Hately again finds an open space. Daryl Hewitt on the lead. Couldn't quite get to the drop of the ball. The umpire will throw it in. Well, they're finding players in the open, the Panthers, and that's how they play it. Fairclough on Bradley at the moment as Dewhurst goes forward, so we're not going to see a big defensive movement on Bradley. Graham Corn's confident in his own player's ability to play positive football. Baker across to Martin Leslie. He handballs out of defence. Stephen Curtis. Port Adelaide setting up loosely now. Knight under the ball. Well done, Robin White. Good spoil away. Kinnear was into the back of White, and he will take the free kick. Robin White, a great defender. It's well known. Gee, there's a loose player in the forward line. That's Slattery. Robin White's going to go short to Dewhurst. Gee, Bradley's giving him a lot of, a lot of room. Dewhurst goes in long. Robertson, the big punch away, came from Baker. Off hands, Butler. Kapler out wide again, looking for Hakeley. He's going to have to fight for that ball. The handball comes out to Anderson. It came from Leslie. Now Bradley over the top, Belton. That's a good move. Belton's going to run through the centre. A long ball, not well put to Evans. He's going to have to make a lot of ground. Palmer will beat Ebert to the ball, or will Evans beat them both? In comes Ebert now. Court got the long handball out. Dwayne Russell, a kick at goal, a very quick one out on the full. A swift put Adelaide attack. Dewhurst and... Craig Bradley obviously going to play a part, play their own games. 
And of course, this is dangerous because uh, when Port Adelaide cleared quickly, then it was Bradley who instigated the movement. Getting back on the ball is Naley. Still in the back pocket. State Rover. A brilliant form at the moment. To edge south, out of defence along the outer side. Up looking for Christie. Baker up over the top, has the football. Left foot's to the half forward line. Brooksby there. Fine Mark Clifford, is it? Not played. I'm going to get a free kick, I think. Bomber Clifford going to get the free kick. Although umpire is speaking to him about something. Bomber Clifford might be too far out. Evans on the lead. Going ball kicked into the man on the mark. Sets it up again through Anderson. Anderson in towards the pocket. Brooksby comes to meet it. Evans there as well. Palmer back in defence. White gives the handball away. I think possibly Palmer will get a free kick for hanging on. Didn't have the football. He's got it in the full back right pocket. Stephen Knight made the mistake then. And uh, he hasn't had a... Well, he hasn't covered himself in glory, Stephen Knight, so far. He'll have to improve. He'll be off. Naley in front of Marnie. Not a lot of movement yet in this game. It hasn't come alive yet. Up goes Harris. Well, Dwayne Russell, in fact, couldn't take the mark. Fairclo shoves the ball out. Hately gets run over and he'll take a free kick. Bradley was the player involved. Ron Hately, five kicks. He played 11 minutes. Not a bad performance. And that was a great diving mark there by Anthony Williams. Williams on the half-back flank. A kick and mark came up to date. He screws the ball towards the half-forward line. Looking for Dwayne Russell. Getting up high was Brooksby. Bennett back on the ball. Clifford out there. Gets it nicely out. Marnie on the lead as Evans. But it's smothered beautifully there by Glenn Hewitt. Kick ball back towards centre wing. Anderson got the bad bounce. Hately charging his way through down the outer side. Bradley now. Left foots it in towards Evans. Evans on the way. Brooksby there as well. But in front the mark will be paid to Robin White. White thought about Bennett. But he's coming back to keep long. Dewhurst wants it centre field. White can't see him. Goes to the outer side the lead out there of Gary Christie. Anderson again. The umpire says play on. Marnie in towards the pocket. Ebert on the lead. Stuart Palmer back there with him, but the ball out of play. Full forward left pocket. The Southerners 1-1. Port Adelaide a goal. A lot of mistakes so far. The game yet to warm up. The Magpies keen for a win to go that game clear. And of course the Panthers want that top spot. Congestion in the Port Adelaide half-forward area and uh, the muscle man Dwayne Russell came away with the ball but uh, the umpire will call him back not a lot of breeze none in fact the two flags on the outer side of the ground hardly moving Bennett a quick kick away could be danger down goes Kinnear he'll get a free kick for a push in the back Port Adelaide had the advantage of the ball in any event with Stephen Williams I don't know if Kinnear can kick a goal from there Maybe just in range. Hard to say. Well, it's a good-looking kick. It's floating back now. I think he's got the accuracy. Yes, and the distance. One goal, Kim Kinnear. Port Adelaide, two without a miss. The Panthers, 1-1. One, one. Very much a kick-mark affair at the moment. Not a lot of system in it at all. Both teams very keyed up to win, of course. The ball's forced out by Michael Bennett, waiting for it at the back there. It was a quick kick, and he was tagged just as he got rid of the ball. And Harradine into the back of Kinnear, and that was a fine kick by the Port Adelaide wingman for his first goal, Port second. 20 disposals on the average, Kim Kinnear. Good effort. Christie got the benefit of the bounce. Down to Dewhurst, smothered well by Bomber Clifford. Through comes Christie, Naley, Harradine. Kick around the corner, Wayne Slattery. Beautifully picked up, Slattery. Daisy Cutter into the full forward area. Here's a chance. Kapler's got the run of the ball. Hooks around the corner. Didn't take a lot of time in for that point. I thought he had a bit of time to uh, think about that one. Yes, Peter. He obviously didn't know he was clear because he rushed the kick. Maybe he was just confident, but whatever he missed, Leslie gives a lead. So did as Anthony Williams. Baker's on this side of the ground. Curtis kicking in towards Baker. Anthony Williams, one of Russell Ebert's specialties there. Kinnear and Dewhurst, the umpire will come in and bounce. One, two, South Adelaide, two goals, Port Adelaide. Snabikla and Baker. Baker's tap away again, he's won most of them. Thrown out now, 
Back here towards Baker. Tapped out. Bradley. Well done, Williams. Got it over to Kinnear. Kinnear to the half forward line. On the lead out there is Knight. Palmer reads it well. Trying to get over to Hewitt. Through comes Robin White. He's taken care of. Bradley, long hand ball out. Russell Ebert. Good tackle put on that. Par holding the ball. South were off, but he's got to go back and take his kick. Not a lot of time. Gee, Robin White was filled. They hit him hard, but it was a legitimate bump. Stretcher called for. This is bad for South Adelaide. Capra at centre half forward. The umpires haven't seen the stretcher. I think you'll find they'll probably wait for him to be carted off now. Robin White. Let's have a look at it. Robin White went in. Stephen Clifford. Hit him head high. Robin White. Out cold. Has not moved a muscle. The stretcher's out. Doctor with him. And we'll just take a small break there while they stretch the boy off to the arena. Peter, it looked to be a, one of those things where you come in, you've got your head over the body, and it's a hip and shoulder bump. Or well, hard to say, Ian. Uh, if you really want to be technical about it, the camera picks up that movement there. Um, one might argue that there was something wrong with it, but uh, the run-in from Clifford was, uh, was quite okay. There was another holding the ball decision down the ground, by the way, which we'll see Craig Ebert take the free kick. Umpire Des Foster very quick on the holding the ball decisions and uh, interesting to note that Lou Richards made the comment on Tuesday night in the Sterling Cup game that uh, he'd like to have Desi Foster over in Melbourne to clean up a few of the packs over there. Bad luck though for Robin White. One of the great defenders in the game at the moment. Been carried off the field. Be interesting to see in whether he comes through the gate. Yes, well on the stretcher, Peter, it doesn't matter where you go. You can come off at any time. Um, with Corns, he's gone to the half-back flank and obviously going to centre half-back. No, taking Robin White's place. We'll try to pick up that move for you at the moment. Futurahurst can't get it. Paradine can fire South Adelaide into attack. Up towards the half-forward left flank. But the ball goes out of play. Now, Corns hasn't gone onto the half Oh, yes, he has. Now, Robin White was playing on a half-back flank, so it's just a straight swap at this stage. The runner's out there. Uh, actually, John Allen will probably come on and take Corns' place. He's just making the move now in consultation with the runner. But in the meantime, Baker's got a free kick in the back pocket to put Port Adelaide out of defence. Baker, nice looking drop punt towards centre wing. Brooksby up, high mark. Wayne Russell uses the step ladder. up. Brooksby now towards Harris. Harris gets the leap away. No, he doesn't have to. Baker missed it completely. Robertson couldn't get there. Harris took almighty strides, about to leap. Didn't have to, took it on his chest. In fact, he actually propped his run. The easy chest mark, finally, is about 45 metres out. Should make the distance. Oh, no, the kick's an awful one off the side of his boot. A floater into the pocket. Up they go. Big mark almost played there to Hatley, I think it was. Well done, Anderson. Fires it back to where his position ought to be. Clifford. Centre wing. Goes for Ebert. Taken care of by... Stewie Palmer, but the umpire said that Ebert was infringed and gets the free kick. Umpire Adrian Forster gave that one. They're giving plenty of free kicks at the moment. Up goes big Dwayne Russell. Couldn't take the mark. Looks we just put Belton down. And we'll see the umpire throw it in. Left half forward flank for Port Adelaide. Eight free kicks to each side at this stage. 16 free kicks in the first 18 minutes. Brooksby. Try to grab the ball from the throw-in. Daryl Hewitt was in there as well for the Panthers. Out it comes towards Glenn Hewitt. Port Adelaide a, a little bit more vigorous than South at the moment. Glenn Hewitt to Hakeley over the top to Dewhurst. The umpire will throw it in again. The flags are limp. Well, about the only bit of action we've seen so far is the demise of Robin White. Not good to see, but uh, an occupational hazard in this game. The umpires will have to throw it in again and... Uh, and it's pretty quiet out there, isn't it? It is at the moment, Peter. Not a lot of, uh, well, not a lot of excitement in the game. In fact, the crowd is not making a great deal of noise. Baker gets in front again, tried to get the handball away, only got it to Dewhurst, grubbers it to the half-forward line. Slattery under pressure, got it back to Hewitt. South into attack now, over towards Hatley. Can't quite get there. In goes Anthony Williams. The ball close to the line on the outer side. Anthony Williams ducks the head. Hatley over the top. The umpire has said a uh, throw-in will take place on the half-forward right flank. Two goals, Port Adelaide, one to South. Throw in on the outer side. Baker again gets the thump away. Back towards Hatley. With him is Bradley. He's got the greater pace of the two. Dummies the handball, did that one beautifully. He finally gives a chance to Belton. Belton goes long. Ebert and Palmer 
experience galore there, both over 30 years of age, to see what great players they've been over the years. Gee, over 700 games between two players. I wonder how often that happens when two players go for the ball with that amount of experience. Not often. Palmer got the handball clear. Brooksby now Butler. Butler will sweep it out towards Snee Bickler. He's found that player, but uh, it was punched away. Snee Bickler turned around as though he expected the free kick then, but uh, not nearly one on that occasion. Martin Leslie very quick to the ball. David Baker coming in. Baker's playing well. Too much body strength for Christie. Got it over to Bomber Clifford. The quick kick away. He didn't have a look. Stephen Williams and Glenn Hewitt. Glenn Hewitt's got the or is the quicker of the two players. That kick back, not a good one though. That was out on the full, in fact, the umpire indicates. The player out there is uh, Anthony Williams. He just gave it to Belton. Gee, I wish something had happened. I feel like standing up and uh, getting warm myself. Palmer takes the good mark at half back. The kick wasn't well directed. Palmer swings it out wide. Anderson in front, two grabs, mark. The umpire's paid the mark to 17-year-old Anderson on the outer side. Tremendous tussle there looming with Ron Hately. Youth against experience, Anderson. Not a good-looking kick, going to drop short. Half-forward line, Russell Cart getting back on the play now for South Adelaide's Corns. Will use Palmer, no, didn't get it over that way. Here's a chance now, Bradley with the pace. Close to the line, concedes ground. Russell there as well, Bradley chipped away. Finds Belton, 30 metres out wide in front, good football. That's the value of Craig Bradley in uh, with the super pace that he's got. He's got the ability to clear out from a player and, uh, and he's not selfish. He found Belton beautifully then. Head on to goals. Fourth kick, Belton. That's through. His first, Port Adelaide three goals without a miss. Lead South Adelaide 1-2. The Magpies just made the change, by the way. Harris for Baker, but uh, have a look at the pace of Bradley. There he goes, leading in the race for the ball. Now, taps it out to the side, and then he accelerates. He saw Belton, and uh, you can't do it much better than that. Bradley's one of the best footballers in Australia, and uh, Paul Belton, with 21 disposals on the average, is a great con contributor now for the Magpies. Harris has replaced David Baker. He's a good leaper. Christie against Harris. Harris gets his first tap away, but it's soccer towards the half-forward line of South Adelaide. Getting back, Craig Ebert, Fairclough got it out, did it well. Kepler now a long shot in towards goal, getting back, Robertson won't make it, fine goal! Beautifully done, David Kepler. South Adelaide quick to reply, 2-2 two -two to three goals. Well, that was a bit of a soft approach there at centre-half back. If you watch the ball come out, very soft the way it came off hands there, and uh, Kepler was quick to capitalise. The Panthers got a much-needed one because Port Adelaide, although they weren't playing well, were starting to sneak away. Christie and Harris once more. Good bounce by umpire Foster. Harris got up again. Butler waiting for it. Socket away from that player. In towards Stephen Williams. Taken by Russell. That was a good handball. 40 metres out. He hooks the ball. Hung onto it just a little bit too long. Forced the kick under pressure in the end. And the ball went out of play on the foot. Well, Graham Corns yelled throw when the handball came out. So if it was a throw, the umpire was obviously unsighted. We see Philip Brooksby kick out high. Not a very good kick in front. Anthony Williams. Russell Ebert will further it. Tim Evans stayed back on that occasion. Port Adelaide player run over then. It was Stephen Knight. But we'll see the umpire throw it in in the left forward pocket for Port Adelaide. Stephen Knight, as I've mentioned, has done very little right so far, but... Uh, Plenty of time left for him to get into the action. Brooksby again. Big punch away there. Oh no, Hately may have marked the ball. Yes, he too grabbed it. The umpire's paid it. Hately from half back flank. Kick number six towards centre wing. Big leap by Snabickler. Can't bring it down. Well taken. Hewitt. That's Daryl Hewitt. Fires the ball to the half forward line. Getting back on it. Kapler. Slattery with the pace. Twist turns. Gives Kepler a chance. He's on the dangerous left leg. Puts it in long. Is that two in a minute? Getting close to Harris. Goal! Oh, what a brilliant goal! Two and two minutes and South Adelaide have hit the front. He's a fine left-footed player. Kepler and uh, David Kepler, that is. But the thing to watch here is the way it was beautifully read by Slattery. Slattery's playing well now. 
comes in like a true rover, playing at half forward, swings it back to Kapler, and that's a super left-footed action for his second goal. 18 points, Port Adelaide, the Panthers 20. Harris gets a tap away again, but this time it's taken by Naley, puts it high towards the half forward line, fair close there. Curtis comes to meet the ball, and the umpire has seen it, he kicks it out, hanging on against John Harvey, and it's going to be David Fairclough from centre half forward. Harris thought about leading, now he's off. Fairclough going for home, though, with a long kick, putting it up in the air, won't make it. Hately at the back, waiting for it. Good mark, Hately. Gee, do you think he covers any ground? Burke and Wills have got nothing on this lad at all. He's down from the wing, almost standing in the goal square. He's booted one and stood his ground well to take the mark. Plays on, drives, I think that's number two. The umpire has said he's got to go back. He's not allowed to play on. Now, I wonder why that would be, whether or not he was had whistled time off, but I would have thought that he was allowed to play on. Let's have a look at it now. He's uh, What's he going to do this time? Looks like he's going to try to check side this one. I think he checked the second in any case. Well done. South Adelaide 4-2, Port Adelaide 3 goals. Well, Port Adelaide making mistakes because the uh, the big men didn't get back on that occasion. It was left to Martin Leslie to go it alone against two Panther forwards. Well, I think you can call Hately a forward. Call him a backman too. Call him anything, Ron Hately. He does everything. But uh, not good for Port Adelaide. The big men have got to get back. And uh, now the Panthers hit the front. They deserve it. They're playing well. Port winning the taps. South Adelaide starting to read their play, however. Harris again, this time towards Marnie Bradley to the half-forward line. Belton waits his ground. Bennett behind, thumps it away. Ebert thumps it in now towards Evans. Comes to meet the ball. He'll need backup support. It's one on four players there. Big Tim Brooksby. South Adelaide through John Allen. Well, Glenn Hewitt was back towards the half-back line. Harris comes over the top and thumps the ball out of play. Tim Evans doesn't look particularly good at this stage. He really needs the ball put to him, Tim Evans. Um, it's not being critical of him. He's a, he's a top goal kicker, but gee, when it gets onto the ground, he's, uh, he's a bit too easily beaten for mine. Christie dropped the ball, recovered. Congestion there. It comes out to Dewhurst. He tried to find Naley with a short chip, didn't. Belton did it well, threw the ball out. Williams, quick kick away. Here's a chance up forward. Oh, there'll be 15 metres. Try 30. Not a good movement there by Graham Brooksby. That brings uh, Russell within range and uh, pretty hard to understand why that tackle was applied. Dwayne Russell hasn't been particularly good with the kick of late. This is his fifth kick. He's kicked two out of bounds on the full already in this game, so uh, Port Adelaide fans would hope that he'd improve on that. It's a little bit better. A lot better, in fact. Four goals now, Port Adelaide, and uh, they kick back to within two points can't understand defenders giving away advantage freeze like that. Beautifully done by Belton to Stephen Williams, and that was a controlled kick, and Brooksby came back late on the scene, and uh, just how bad it was, it doesn't really matter. He gave away 15 metres, that's all that counted, and most certainly Russell was then within kicking distance because it was only a little chip of about 35 metres. Port Adelaide 4 without a miss, South Adelaide 4-2. Ben Harris in the centre, and uh, there's also Gary Christie carrying the load for the Panthers. Harris again easily, but uh, once again the Panthers, this time through Fairclough, clear it. Leslie. Anderson covering a lot of territory also. In fact, they change wings. Kinnear's gone across the other side to Hately. Marnie took the mark. It's a good effort in front of Bennett. Marnie goes on now. Here comes Tim Evans. He's got another one. See, that punch away came late from uh, Philip Brooksby, but uh, Evans was in front. That's how he likes them. Kept his eyes on the ball, and uh, again, we saw a late tackle from a South Adelaide defender. Tim Evans shouldn't present a problem, this one. It did, though. Went off to the left. Four goals, one now. Port Adelaide, the Panthers 4-2. I've seen Tim Evans more confident. Russell Ebert just uh, getting someone to stand the mark as it appears that Palmer will kick in. Corns wants it centre field. That's where it's going. Bennett in front of Corns. He didn't need a leaper. 
coming clear now, kicking out wide. It was fair play towards centre wing, and the ball is out of play. Well, Peter asked for a bit of action. He got a bit from a couple of South Adelaide defenders, but I don't think that's the action he meant. South by a point. It's Nabickler and Harris. Anthony Williams over the top. Fair Clough on the left leg. Hooks back towards Kepler. Craby got there with him. Three on one. Kepler got it back nicely. Naley. High tackle. Naley too far out to score. Harris on the lead now. Naley's going to give him a chance if he gets the leap away on this occasion. Bit short. Free kick against Leslie. Not happy with it. Having a few words to say to Adrian Forster. The free was given for a push in the back and John Stamickler's got it 35 metres out. I think Martin Leslie might have been asking about the other one too. The, uh, the Harris jump into the back of, should I say, the Darren Harris jump into the back of Ben Harris. But uh, the quarter's finished in any event. There's one remaining act, though, and that is the kick of John Sneebickler. It'll be a handy goal for the Panthers. Looks great off the boot. Through it goes. Sneebickler has one. Quarter time here at Adelaide Oval. The Panthers 5-2. The Magpies 4-1. I mean, Port Adelaide didn't play well in that first quarter, that's for sure. Christie thumps the ball towards the line over the top of Baker and out of play. And I think uh, possibly David Baker has got a little bit more body strength than Sneebickler. In fact... Uh, not as the Bickler than Christie's. The Bickler is going against Baker now. He's got the body strength to do it, if not the height. Out goes Marnie. Naley gets a wobbly old kick away. The bounce will decide. Well done, Curtis. Dewhurst across. Chance Clifford. Leslie in there as well. Leslie clear. Port Adelaide going to attack to the outer side. A match in two. G. Corns has got to get on night. The youngster could get away from South Adelaide's captain and coach. He's doing it well, however. The umpire has given a free kick, and that could have been the best thing that happened to Corns, because if Knight had gone around him, he could have run probably 30 or 40 metres into the open goal. On the lead is Ebert going over that player's head. Evans back there, Christie. Good mark. Casual as you like, looking for a running player. Thought about Bennett, but the big South Adelaide player will go out wide, looking out there for Hewitt. Two grabs, couldn't get it. Anthony Williams. Bradley, watch him go now. Clifford, cool in the centre. Puts out the pass wide, Ebert in the lead, and he gets it on the half-forward right flank. Very indirect, very indirect, Port Adelaide. Still playing pretty poorly. Ebert goes in, Evans up in front, couldn't take the mark. Off hands again, this is where South Adelaide are winning. Their ground play is far superior to the Magpies. Russell Ebert took a fine mark on the rebound ball from Bennett. Stephen Williams on his own. Now there's a little bit of movement. It's going to drop short. That ball up goes Stephen Knight. Oh, Stephen Williams put his own man down. Naley off hands again. Back towards Anderson. Couldn't take the mark. It was pushed past Bradley. He got put down by Fairclough. Fairly. Darrell Hewitt. Oh, a one-hander there, Leslie. Couldn't control the ball. A great dive on top of the ball there by the Port Adelaide defender, Leslie. And it was uh, Slattery who jumped across the back of him. Leslie will take off now and give it to Bomber Clifford. Kinnear is clear. The booing uh, against Bomber Clifford may be unjustified. He was the player that, of course, put Robin White down. Big jump again by Dwayne Russell. Powerful man. The raging bull, Dwayne Russell. To centre half forward, Graham Corns up. Great mark. The Corns of yesteryear. 15 metres against nine. Corns. Have a look at it again. Got the ride. Studley Corn from centre half back goes towards the half forward line. A big leap though by Bennett didn't come off. Going through Leslie. No one to kick to. He's got to hook it back towards the half forward line. Brooksby behind the pack should take the easy mark. He dropped it. Now he's in trouble. Gets it out cleverly. Naley in turn. Christie. South go forward over the half forward line with a long kick. Harris at the back of the pack. Got up high. Couldn't bring it down. Curtis has Clifford waiting for the handball. Half back line. Gee, the crowd don't like him at the moment. Belton centre wing. Hately close to the action. Gets the kick away. Into the pocket goes Williams and he's got it. Too far out to score. Evans on the lead but he's going to the half forward line. Bradley makes good position and takes a fine mark. Centre half forward. And I wouldn't be at all surprised if he makes the distance from here. A magnificent kicker of the football. Let's have a look where Craig Dewhurst is. Only four kicks but as Robert told you, at quarter time, some very telling handballs. He's had seven. 
Bradley, taking his time. No, he's not going to kick long. Belton short, well played. <laughs> oh. A little bit undecided, Belton, as to whether to play on there. When Naley went to spoil him, he uh, went past the player, and Belton had a half a mind to play on. But wisely settled 35 metres out. A chance to put Port LA within kicking distance of the Panthers. Nice looking kick. That's through. Belton second. Port Adelaide 5 1. The Panthers 5 2. Well, he's a clever little player, Craig Bradley. And uh, he, uh, I think, was just not quite confident with the kick, but he disguised it beautifully. It was a little bit like Neville Roberts. The way he came in, shaped up for the long kick, and chipped it nicely to Belton. Port Adelaide are hanging in, but uh, they are not playing well, believe me. Baker against Christie. Christie gets the thump away to Snobickler on the half forward line. Out wide a running is Harradine, but beautifully taken away by Anderson. As Peter told you, Anderson has been moved off Hately. The drive to the half forward line, Corns up. Brooksby back towards centre field. Kinnear and Hately. Kinnear gets the kick away. Over to the half forward line, out of side. Belton again. Belton wants to play on. On the leaders, Ebert. Evans likewise. He's putting it up for Evans. He'll get a leap at this one. Evans. Brooksby there with him. Evans! I think he's probably got the free kick on the mark. Crowd don't like it. Tim Evans, 35 metres out, has got the free kick for a high tap. Peter Marker. Well, I think it was there, uh, Ian. Over he comes. And, uh, yes, there was definitely a high tackle there. And uh, I think probably the free kick was there. By the way, that was Belton's eighth kick. Eighth kick and uh, he's certainly setting up those loose moves for Port Adelaide now. 35 metres out. Evans not kicking well today. I think he's missed again. That's his second point. He's tied the game up. 5-2 both teams. Two kicks, two points. Robert Oti. Oh, well, Robin White is uh, in a bit of trouble. He's been knocked unconscious, but he's come good in the club rooms. He's got a split lip, and there's no way he'll come back on today, though. So Robin White, definite doubtful starter next week against Western Australia. Thank you, Robert. Back to the action. Naley again, surrounded by Magpie players there. Does it alone, but uh, rolls it out. Good thing about Naley is uh, he maintained control of that ball and didn't let the Port Adelaide players run it up forward. Baker and Christie. Baker again gets front spot. Daryl Hewitt. Players fighting hard for the ball. That was well done, Hewitt. Got it over to Naley. Bit of clever work there as he gets around players. Dewhurst in the middle. Going to be swamped, though, by Leslie. He missed the spoil. Harvey comes through. Fell over. Still fights for the ball, though. Sneebickler's handball away. Not good. Craig Ebert. Look for a player up forward, Stephen Knight. Graham Corns again. Knight went the wrong way on that occasion. Graham Corns' tackle was a good one. Knight just missed with the uh, with the, the right-handed hook. Well done, Curtis. Craig Ebert changes direction. Here's a chance, Port Adelaide. He is a phantom, Bel Belton. Gets into an open space. Nobody wants to know him. There goes Clifford again. You'll hear the boos in a minute. There they are. Away goes Anderson. Coming into the game now, Anderson. Shoots in a long ball, a chance, Evans. Oh, well done on that occasion. Brooks being run through by Bennett. Good defensive work by the Panther defenders. The Panthers having trouble up forward too, Peter. Curtis and co getting on top in defence with Martin Leslie. Looking pretty tight unit. Short. Go to Brooksby. Brother to brother. Oh, he dummies back. He could put himself under pressure here. Palmer had better sit for him or Clifford's got him. Gives out the handball even. That's not much good. A dummy handball and finally a high kick back up towards centre by Hewitt. Big leap by Bradley. Too early. Dewhurst goes off. Drives to the half forward line. To the lead up there of Fair Close. Slattery it was. Curtis back in the back pocket. Kapler there in tackling. Kinnear to the line and the ball is out of play. Seven minutes into the second quarter now. 5-2 the Panthers. 5-3 Port Adelaide. It's a tight game but uh, again... I say not a great deal of action, although we have seen some good football as Stephen Williams goes forward. Up goes big Dwayne Russell, no mark. Bennett did it well, had to get rid of it though along the ground. Through goes Brooksby. A long handball out, Dewhurst starting to get some telling touches. Port Adelaide player down on centre wing. Baker. Big Baker, doesn't look good. They roll him over. He might have got one in the midsection. That's not the midsection, that's high. Oh, well, the picture told a story then, didn't it? Darren Harris, that's a better-looking kick. No accuracy, though. A point, 
Gee, Baker being stretched off the ground. I think you can fairly say that was a right hook to the temple. 5-3 apiece. Scores level here at Adelaide Oval. Rather surprisingly, Peter, no free. Snavickler was obviously going for the ball, trying to get it to watch him come round, and <laughs> he missed the ball by a good foot, and unfortunately, David Baker copped it. Not good at all. Baker stretched it off the arena. That's the second we've had. Starting to try to lift his head up. He's coming around now, which is good signs. Ben Harris taking his spot as the umpires just wait while Baker leaves the arena. Fortunately for Port Adelaide, they've got Harris on the bench. Robertson goes to the outer side. Christie getting back for South Adelaide. Gets his hands to it. Anderson there as well. Kapler, Christie, out wider still now is Shane Butler, undecided where to go. Comes back on the left leg, puts it high up in the air. Getting back Robertson, good mark in defence. And he's got it in the right back pocket. Bit of movement for Robertson from Leslie, but it won't go to that player. Robertson will keep it on the outer side of the ground. Torpedo punt. Harris over the top. Bradley got the pace to run away from Kapler. Watch him go. Bradley, long kick up forward. Palmer coming in. Big leap, Palmer. Good mark. It was his ball all the way. Nothing Clifford could do about it. Across it comes to Daryl Hewitt. Gee, there's some freedom of movement there. Hewitt. Sneebickler appeared to be pushed out, but it's Naley who read the ball superbly. Harris on the lead. Darren Harris down low he goes and takes a good mark. South Adelaide ran the ball forward beautifully then. Darren Harris low to the ground. Hasn't kicked well though. One point is all he's got up to this stage. That's his first goal though. 6-3 the Panthers, the Magpies 5-3. Gee, Peter, attack is the name of the game. There's not too many people prepared to defend out there. There's a lot of loose in the centre field. All the attacking players just waiting back, waiting for the ball to come to them. But what a beautiful turn by Naley. And have a look at the little chip pass. Perfectly dispatched. No way known that Robertson could have cut that one off. Darren Harris not kicking accurately early. Got a goal in. Should lift his confidence. He's averaged over five for the season. Actually, he's improved with every kick in. Out of bounds on the full first kick. Point with the second one, and uh, third time lucky. Big knock away from Harris, but again, Port Adelaide smaller players being killed in the middle. He didn't have the ball then, Fairclough. Marnie gives it back to him now. Marnie hasn't really learnt the, uh, well, all there is about roving. I say that, of course, with tongue-in-cheek. There's a lot to learn, but he's been beaten on the ground by the smaller South players. Harvey in defence. Naley will give away 15 metres now. John Harvey comes to well, comes closer to the centre. Well, not a good looking kick. Bomber Clifford, though, will come in front. Didn't take the mark. Christie stolen by Anderson. Bradley a chance now. Belton again. Takes plenty of time. Runs all the way. Russell Ebert in the pocket. Stephen Knight called for the ball, but he goes long. Evans! Had a couple of options. Stephen Knight was one of them. Big Tim Evans was the other. I thought he tried to check side that one, Peter. I'd like to have a look at it in replay. The angle is evident. The way he's kicked Tim Evans. He wouldn't back him in for that, but he put it through for his first. Scores level again, 6-3 each here at Adelaide Oval. Gee, what sort of director are you? <laughs> I reckon he tried to check side. Yeah, I think you're right. You know what it is, everybody will think I was wrong, so you've saved me. <laughs> Clifford on the half forward line to send Port Adelaide into attack. Out comes Evans again, he's got it. A chance for two in a minute. An awkward kick, a floating left footer from the half forward line. Corns couldn't get back, Brooksby couldn't cut him off, and Evans has got it about 25, 30 metres out. He's second. Port Adelaide hit the front. 7-3 to the Panthers, 6-3. Well, that was the point that I made in the first quarter, that uh, you've really got to put it to Tim Evans to take full advantage of his size and height. And that was one of the few occasions that the Magpies have got it away cleanly the floater came up and Evans did it well and uh, it's two goals Evans 57 for the season 
He's a great goal kicker and a, a real champion down in Magpie Territory. Average over six goals a game. That should boost his confidence. Harris has got to stand his ground, gets the thump. It went straight to Hewitt, getting back on it. Leslie, not a good kick by Hewitt, only covered about 25 metres. And Leslie's got it at centre half back. Playing quite well for Port Adelaide as he drives to the outer side, looking for Russell. Brooksby there as well. Russell too strong, good mark, 15 metres. Can't understand Brooksby. That's the second good. time he's done that today, and that's the longest 15 metres I've ever seen in my life. Although he didn't wait for it, he kicks in long now. Evans charges to meet the ball. Almost Bennett in defence. I think he's going to pay that. Clown, no, it's Stu Palmer in front. Runs the ball out. Now it's Bennett. Over the half-back line goes South Adelaide. Long to Snabickler. Can't quite get there as he foots it towards centre wing. Harvey there with him. Snabickler needs backup support. Gets it from Hewitt. Hewitt on the left leg. We'll find Kapler. Here's a chance for South Adelaide if they can keep it in play. They can't. And it's out of bounds. Left half-forward flank on the outer side. The Magpies certainly look better when they go into attack quick. Most sides do, in fact, but uh, they've got the players up there to kick the goals. Surprised that Russell didn't use that 50 metres he was given then. Could have. Butler. Stephen Williams. Snee Bickler there as well. But the umpire was going to pay a free kick, but didn't. That was Dewhurst that was up there that was pushed. Back it comes Kapler. The quick handball out. Fair clove. South Adelaide a chance, up goes Darren Harris, couldn't take the mark. Anthony Williams clears for the Magpies. Nobody home though. Clifford is a mile away from Glenn Hewitt. Glenn Hewitt has the chance to steady, looks for Hakeley, put him in a bit of trouble. Kinnear came over the top, missed him. Glenn Hewitt, the runner, way up into the teeth of goal. Oh, Harris up far too early. Has he given away a free kick or is the mark going to be paid? No, he's going to pay the mark. Gee, Darren Harris was up a mile too early. And Snee Bickler will be paid the mark. Snee Bickler got a goal right on the bell in the first quarter. This is his third kick. Shouldn't present a problem. John Snee Bickler will level the score with the goal. John Allen on the ground now. Graham Corns off. Allen will go straight to half back on Stephen Knight. Snee Bickler taking a long time. A goal, two goals, Snee Bickler. The scores are level now, 7 3 apiece here at Adelaide Oval. A brilliant half back attacking movement there by Glenn Hewitt. Hately almost, he thought of moving off, but then lost his footing, but like a good player, Hewitt followed up. But how about this lead of, leap of Harris? He may have given away a free kick there when he got up very early. But it'd be a brave umpire who took the mark away from Stabickler right there, I would think. He wouldn't meet with the approval of the crowd, especially the South Adelaide crowd, his second goal. Average disposal, 17 per game. It's very tight. The side that gets a quick breakaway is, uh, is going to set it up. The handball out from Dewhurst. Not clear, though. Harradine tries to do the same, but Christie finally wobbles one forward. Slattery. He certainly is a live wire. Takes off now on the, na the Naley lead. Didn't take the mark. Ron Hakeley picks it up and kicks the goal. Right where Hakeley, three goals to the wingman. South 8-3, Port Adelaide 7-3. Peter talking about a phantom. This bloke's got to be the original. He covers an enormous amount of ground. And it Naley almost pulled down a specky. But Hakeley followed up from centre wing. He scooped on it. One grab. And how about the angle? A magnificent goal. His third. And the Panthers have got back in front by the goal. Tenth kick, Ron Hately. Average disposal is 21 this season. Graham Corns is in there, hidden by the other South Adelaide hierarchy. Gee, Kim Kinnear's going to need a motorbike to stay with Hackley. Well done again, Daryl Hewitt, but it was picked up by the other phantom. Belton, he got the kick forward. Dwayne Russell couldn't mark the ball. Fighting hard for it, Kapler, that was held to him, and umpire Des Foster will bounce it. 19 minutes into the second quarter, the Panthers lead by six points. A crowd of 16,000 plus here to witness this Sunday game. Christie up very early. Butler, oh, well smothered in by John Harvey. Dwayne Russell kicked around the body well, got distance with that ball. Bennett, Marnie, neither player could take the mark. Another stale, mate. Now it comes out. Stephen Knight nearly got use of the ball. Marnie's got it now. 
Russell Evert has to go the wrong way. Saw the player out of the corner of the eye. There's a high tackle. Marnie has to go back to Stephen Williams. He got the kick away. Will it be played? No, play on. Back to Marnie from Belton. He's hooked it around the body, but he's offline. A point. Peter, on the first one, the high tackle you called. The umpire ruled that he ducked his head. He indicated the same, and of course that mark is certainly wasn't 10 metres, and so he had to play on. The kick in now, strong mark by McClifford. Centre half forward, a big kick will make the distance. Kick number eight. Going to drop short. Evans, Brooksby, over the back of the pack, who's waiting for it? It's that Phantom again, a tightly in the back pocket. Got no one to kick to, he's got a grubber out of play. Left full forward pocket with Port Adelaide in, in attack. And down by five points. Ebert marshalling his forces. Wants the ball hooked back. Dwayne Russell comes in with Brooksby for the throw in. Brooksby gets front spot. Haitley almost gets bowled. Kinnear gets the ball back. Kicked away now by Fairclough. Back up towards centre wing. Gary Christie will get the mark. Rather, I mean the free kick rather than a mark. And he'll put the Panthers into attack. No one on the lead at the moment. They're all hearing back into their spots. Harris comes out now. Kick number five going to be well short of that player. Chance for Slattery. Slattery try to get it back to Hewitt. In there's Williams. Slattery still in there fighting for it. And this time the umpire says the ball is bottled up and will bounce. And we see Christie off and Corns back in play. Graham Corns won't go for the knock though on this occasion because uh, Schneebickler is down there. Well, Bradley took it for Port Adelaide. In goes Corns. Bradley is down. Schneebickler now got it from Butler. The long kick up. It's a float up. Martin Leslie couldn't mark the ball. Graham Corns now shuffles it out. Kinnear. A backhander on Dewhurst. Daryl Hewitt. Just having a look at Hakeley. Yes, Kinnear is still on Hakeley. Feel sorry for him. A high ball in front. Slattery. He played it well. I think he got the free kick and the mark. Certainly held front spot. He was being held. It's a military two, that one. Slattery. Four kicks, Slattery. I don't know if he can kick the goal. It's probably... Well, close to 50 metres. The ball coming back. Far enough. Yes, he's just snuck it through. One goal, Slattery. 9-3 the Panthers. 7-4 Port Adelaide. Gee, an extra coat of paint on the woodwork and he would have missed. It didn't look as though he was going to make it for a while either in the direction or the, the length. But it was a good effort by Slattery to use his body. Anthony Williams doing everything he can to get that ball in front of him so as Williams couldn't spoil, he did it well. Averaged almost or just over two and a half goals per game and he's a good player on the forward lines for South Adelaide. His first goal, the Panthers now by 11 points. He's improved since he shaved that beard off. Up goes Harris. Hakeley, quick handball, will of the wisp, John Allen. A quick kick up again, Slattery starting to hurt Port Adelaide. That's a beautifully put ball. They don't come much better than that. Darren Harris gobbled that one up. It's a long kick, though. Five marks, Darren Harris. Gee, that's a beautiful kick in. It's going a little bit far, though. Corns! No, nope. a free kick was given to Anthony Williams as the ball was coming in. Williams right in the full-back position to boot the Magpies out along the outer side. Harris going back for the kick. Williams taking his time. He's got to come back over his mark. Screws a long kick, probably covering 60 metres. Back there was Corns, couldn't get it. Butler gets it out now. Here's a chance. Hewitt puts it out. Kapler on the dangerous left leg. Goes long. Going to be just offline, I think. Almost in the teeth of goals. Harris pulled it down. But it's a point only to South Adelaide. The Magpies not looking good. They're a bit lethargic. Not doing much at all. Robertson comes out long. Over goes Hakeley. Couldn't take the mark. South Adelaide have got players at the drop of the ball. Port Adelaide haven't. There's another pass. Slattery. Gee, they're killing Port Adelaide at the moment. They're certainly handling the ball a lot more. Have a look at that for a pass. Slattery. Number seven. Just kicked the goal. He won't score with that one. Big leap there. Corns late. Leslie in as well. Big pack. 
I think it's been conceded. A point? Yes, it has. 9-4 the Panthers. 9-5, in fact, now. Port Adelaide 7-4. Big battle at centre. Dewhurst has had nine kicks, whereas Bradley had five kicks and seven handballs. Butler taking care of uh, Bradley when the ball's in the centre. The free kick will go to the Harris for a push in the back. An awkward leap there by Schnabickler. Gives over across them out of Leslie. Leslie kicks to the half forward line. Russell in front, too strong. Playing well on the lead now as Ebert going out in front of that player. Palmer up over the top, thumps the ball away. Kapler for South Adelaide. Dewhurst is clear if they can get the ball to him at centre wing. Clifford can't get there. Back to Kapler in the 1-2. On the left leg, he goes long. Out in front now of Daryl Hewitt up there. He makes the distance, did it well. In the centre is Brooks B over towards that player. South Adelaide starting to run the ball well. Charts Glenn Hewitt, 40 metres out, heads for goal, gives it a chance, hits the woodwork. A brilliant movement by South Adelaide, springing off the half-back line. Came unstuck when Glenn Hewitt just couldn't quite make it. The Magpies are in trouble here at Adelaide Oval. South Adelaide running all over them, and yet they only lead by 14 points. But the lead will be a lot more the way this game is going. Bradley up high, far too early. His opponent, Dewhurst, weighted down and then hooked a high ball to left half-forward flank. Good mark, Harradine. Did could, it well. He could boot it from here, Peter, if he gets onto one. Gee, I don't doubt that, Ian. He is a gigantic kick. It'll land on the John Cresswell stand if he gets on, onto it. Now he goes short. Dewhurst kneels down and takes the mark. I think everybody else thought he was going to kick long too, Peter, except Dewhurst. This will be Dewhurst's 11th kick. No, I think he's on top of Bradley no, at the one moment. Oh, I Wobbles one up forward. Robertson coming in late. And in front was Anthony Williams. Into time on of the second quarter. South by 14 points. Curtis, plus 15 metres against Slattery. Called to play on, he breaks clear now. Or runs into a bit of trouble. Forced to give away a handball. Harris back to Curtis in the one-two. Breaks the tackle. Craig Ebert. Clifford. Port Adelaide into attack long. That's perfectly put. Knight on the half-forward line. Port Adelaide running well now on the lead is Ebert. Evans wants it in long. One-on-one, -on -one. Evans. Brooksby Evans out in front. Waiting for the ball now, Russell smothered well by Palmer. Buttering up as Ebert. Dummies, twists, turns, hooks in towards goal, but he's offline. One point only to the Port Adelaide captain coach. Well, they don't go up forward often, Port Adelaide, but uh, every time they do, they look a, a little bit dangerous, particularly uh, with free-running players. Talking about free-running players, due to South Adelaide players, no one near them. Sneebickler. Harris drops back. South Adelaide players again stay down as they should. Coming across Craig Ebert. Short. Russell didn't get to the drop of the ball and uh, now Bile throw it in. Graham Corns doesn't look too fit. He's playing at centre half forward at the moment. Giving Snee Bickler the run on the ball. Wayne Russell. An unusual action. Quick chip away. Well done, Stephen Williams. The Phantom. Over it goes to Stephen Knight. A high ball. One out, Tim Evans. In front. Oh, he had the chance for the, the mark on the chest, but he's going to get a free kick. I don't know about that one. The replay will probably show the hand over the shoulder. Yes, there it is. Oh, well, when you see it like that, you tend to agree with the umpire, but... Uh, a bit technical. Three goals, Tim Evans. 9-5 Port Adelaide. Or is it 8-5? 8-5, 9-6. Well, Port Adelaide are doing it the hard way. They've got no real movement in attack. Russell's doing pretty well at centre-half forward, but he's he's coming upfield to get his uh, get his kicks. And on that occasion, and Russell's had 10 kicks, and he's playing well at centre-half forward. But here's a contentious free kick. Whether or not it stopped Tim Evans from doing anything he wanted to do, he's got the free kick. Booted his third and put back within Cooey. Seven points down. It amazes me the Magpies are that close, but uh, take your hat off to them. They're on top. They're on top because they're the best in the competition up to this point. Harris, or Russell, should I say, playing well. Stephen Williams out to Kinnear. Kinnear short. Stephen Knight. Maybe too far out. Stephen Williams led for him. Hopefully covered him, though. 
Which is an amazing player, Hakeley. He is everywhere. Stephen Knight goes long. Gee, a nice looking kick. Evans won't get near that one. A good mark in defence there, taken by Stewie Palmer. Two games off 300. Palmer, short. Hatley again. He's got no one to kick to, so he runs it to Bennett. Kinnear's got to claim that player. Kinnear and Bennett close to the line, and the ball is out of bounds in the left full forward pocket. Well, that's the trouble when you go into the back pocket to get a kick. Quite often, if your man's standing back, he's the only one to kick it to. Five minutes of time on gone. Brooks B. Bradley waiting back for it. There's the siren. Half time here at Adelaide Oval in the big clash between the two top teams, Port and South. The Sunday Live Clash sees South Adelaide 9-6, Port Adelaide 8-5. Welcome back to Adelaide Oval for the commencement of the third quarter. Christy, beautifully read by Bradley. Brooksby, though, holds them up. A wobbly old kick four. That was touched. Sneebickler couldn't mark the ball. Through comes Slattery. Certainly played well in that first half. Glenn Hewitt got a smothered kick away. Anderson, Ben Harris, dispossessed. Fighting for the ball on the ground. The umpire will bounce it. The stats in the first half, pretty interesting. South had 20 more kicks nine more marks on the other hand Port Adelaide had 19 hit outs to the South Adelaide Ruckman in seven but the South Adelaide smaller players certainly doing better Stephen Williams to Bradley to Clifford built now on his own completely beaten by the bounce of the ball Bennett played it in front of him in comes Bomber Clifford ran into the front of Bennett gave away the free kick Bennett part of that tight Panther defense that's uh, stood them in great stead this year Bennett will go into the centre. G. Christie there on his own. Took the mark. Ben Harris a little bit loose. Bear in mind, Baker won't come back onto the ground. We, or in fact, he's on the ground, but he's, uh, he walked with crutches as he came back after half-time. Sneed Bickler trying to get rid of the ball. Can't. That's holding the ball. Down goes the Port Adelaide player in Craig Ebert. Martin Leslie will play it off now. Bounces out of defence. Kicks it over the centre. Up goes Dwayne Russell. Good, strong mark. Port Adelaide's best player in the first half. Clifford wide. He's got it now. Short again is Stephen Knight. Clifford goes long. That's a great kick up into the teeth of goal. Nobody home for Port Adelaide. Christie and, and Christie's playing well in. Isn't he, Peter? He might be losing a few of the centre taps, but he's certainly doing well on the field play. Out to the outer side. Hately deep in defence. Gets round on the left leg. Gee, he's got the pace, but he couldn't quite get a good kick away. I think the South Adelaide player has probably been paid the mark or the free. Craig Dewhurst doing well against Bradley. What a battle it's been as he gives the ball now to Shane Butler. Butler kicks long towards Snabickler. Too far for that player swooping on it. Harradine. Harradine will need help. Gets it out towards Naley. Winds his way through the pack. Sets up a chance now. Snabickler has a bounce. He's clear. He can have another bounce. Steady puts it in the air with a chance. I think he's offline one point. A great dash by the South skipper down the outer side, Robert Odie. Well, David Baker's back on the interchange bench at the moment. He's on crutches. He's got a sore ankle. So the belt in the ear he got from John Schneebickler and that ruck threw him off balance. He's twisted his ankle and he's on crutches. Double jeopardy. Well, <laughs> not a good kick out from Robertson. Dewhurst in front of Clifford to take the mark. Dewhurst quickly stamping his imprint on this game. In front, Robertson couldn't take the mark. Offhand, Slattery fell over. Tried to get rid of the ball out the back, but the umpire will now bounce it. In the first half, we saw Hakeley with 11 kicks. Dewhurst with 11. Belton had 10. So did uh, Dwayne Russell. Stale made again. No, it just comes out. The umpire will have another bounce. Left full forward pocket. South by eight points. A bounce down, only about 15 metres out from the Panther goal. An awkward bounce. Craig Bradley gathers it in, hooks it high back towards the half-back line. Anderson and Kapler wait their opportunity. Here's a chance now for Hewitt. Took his eyes off the football. Anderson back. Kapler there over the top. A free kick to the young Port Adelaide wingman. Moved in the first quarter, but still producing some good football. Kicks back towards centre wing. Russell again comes down with a football. G South are getting killed in this area. But Russell's almost on the half-back flank at the moment. In fact, he's checked side of centre wing. Kicks into the man. 
Gary Christie does it well. The left foot goes back towards the half forward line. Hewitt there, but up over the top. Harris the easy mark. Mark kick football at the moment. Ben Harris. Wobbles one. That's a tumble punt kick towards centre field. Hately couldn't. Kinnear at the back. Try to tap it clear now. Oh, the heavy bump went in. Russell went down. Finally, it's Kinnear. Kicks him in towards the half forward line. They're waiting for it as Ebert clip it out. A magnificent handball. Clip it into the open goal. Could not possibly miss. Clip it first. Port Adelaide 9 5. Trail South Adelaide 9 7. Clifford always in the clear. That was his 12th kick. Watch the heart tussle in there in the middle between Dwayne Russell and John Allen. Further it went. Watch the handball. 30 metres that went. Over to Clifford. Ran into the open. Goal. Port Adelaide now trailing by two points. Stephen Clifford not having one of his big seasons. In fact, he spent a time in the reserves, but still averaging 17 disposals. Christie didn't even get started. Harris can. Hooks into the man. Ball smothered centre field. Finally, Harris in there, but the Port Adelaide player in trouble is Bradley. He's been pinged, and the free kick will go to South Adelaide's John Allen. Allen kicks towards the half-forward line, getting back Harvey. In there with him, Fairclough. Fairclough, Harvey, joined by Kapler, try to get clear. He hasn't got the football. Anderson goes to join him. Umpire fights. will have the ball up. He found a free. He well, that's one way. He found that one. Dewhurst to the lead of Harradine, poor kick, Ebert's got the football. Craig Ebert plays on, wide to Bradley. Port Adelaide champion's got the run now, he's going to be almost run down by Hately, seven kicks Bradley, big leap at full forward, Evans didn't really get near the ball, through came Brooksby, kicked off the ground, a chance now, Belton, he's made a space as he normally does, that's a, I'm going to say it was a good, it was a well-intentioned kick back, he tried to click, kick it into the the square in front of the goal line but it went out on the full and the relieving free kick to be taken by John Allen. Kicks long back towards Bennett, Christie there as well at the back of the pack is Bradley waiting his opportunity, Hately gets it back there towards Butler, Harris over there as well and the ball is out of play half forward left flank 9-7 to 9-5, there's been nothing in it all day, Harris in place of the injured Baker, Graham Corns looks worried Harris and Christie line ball nailing High, back towards centre wing. The bodies go in. Harradine, up goes Belton. Back towards centre wing again. The bodies in. Harradine again. Scrambly passage of play. The umpire will bounce. Two points in it. The Panthers in front. Seventh minute mark now of this third quarter. No breeze at all. Conditions perfect. Umpire Des Foster puts the ball down. Ben Harris hooks it over the top. Belton. Uses the left boot, Russell Ebert got bundled out of the way. Through comes Dwayne Russell, right, Russell Ebert off hands. Bradley in the pocket, he's got it. Bennett applied the pressure, but it was Bradley who took the ball. He got it on to Clifford. Clifford will hook it back. Here's a chance, Tim Evans. Two grabs, not paid. Very close to the scoring line, and it's pushed through for a point. Port Adelaide edge just that little bit closer. Trying to find out where Bradley's playing. He's in the left forward pocket at the moment. Bennett had to pick him up. Dewhurst, his immediate opponent, can't get to the football. Drogamala on for Port Adelaide, getting back on the ball, close to the line. In fact, it's out. Don't know who Drogamala replaced, Peter. Can you help me there? He's uh, probably playing on the... Maybe he's replaced Stephen Williams. Can't pick it up. Stephen Williams out there, Ian, but we'll Is have he? it in a minute. Throw in, half forward, right flank, Port Adelaide in attack, and starting to play a little bit better than South Adelaide. Christie, Belton. There's Stephen Williams. Gives a chance, Rogamala, right forward pocket. He's under pressure, gets the kick away. In towards full forward, Evans comes to meet it. Brooksby there as well. John Allen back in defence. Clears long to the outer side. Hately and Kinnear. Ebert comes in to help his wingman. Hooks the ball back high in towards the square. Evans gets started up. There's Clifford. Clifford again tries to get out clear. Brooksby over the top. Clifford throws the ball out. But the umpire will come in and bounce right on the edge of Port Adelaide Square. It's pretty tight in there now. Port Adelaide making their charge. Eight and a half minutes into this third quarter. Down comes big Dwayne Russell for the for the bounce. Try to grab the ball. Couldn't. A push in the back being paid to the South Adelaide defender in Bennett. He's played well. Bradley standing the mark. No doubt that Bradley's up forward. Drogamala appears to be in the centre. On Dewhurst. That player was off. Good tackle there by Stephen Knight. Out comes Dwayne Russell. Legged. Free kick. 
That was against Naley. No doubt about the free kick. Rogamala in the centre. It's amazing. Rogamala in there to probably do a negative job on Dewhurst. Everybody was saying pre-match, would Dewhurst go negative on Bradley? Oh, Kinnear was out there on his own. Now Haradine comes down. Bradley's probably running on the ball with Stephen Clifford. 12 kicks, Dwayne Russell. He can kick the ball a long way. Powerful kick. Jed's going to go through. Two goals, Dwayne Russell. Port Adelaide in front now. 10-6 to 9-7. Bad movement. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you said a break, did you? Mm. I'm getting upset with all the freeze that they're getting in front of goal. No. Bad mistake by South in defence. Cost them a goal. Corn's about to come into the action, I would think. Don't know who's coming off. Pick it up in a moment. Whether it might be Brooksby and Corns will go to centre half back. Christie against Harris. Harris gets the thump away again. Fair close. Thumps it towards South Adelaide's half forward line. Leslie back in defence. Hooks around the corner. Kapler. Oh. Butler dropped an easy mark. Scoops it out there. Kapler to Fair close. Pushing in the back according to the umpire. Hang on. I reckon he changed his decision. Butler back in defence. He's in trouble here. Hewitt, fair clo. Thought the umpire rule pushing the back, and then finally up he gave a, a decision for holding the ball. A throw in, centre wing. Harris and Christie, Drogamala at the back. Kapler, fair clo. A high kick centre field. Hately underneath it. Kinnear late on the scene. Hewitt across. John Allen, Hewitt. Flattery. Harris on the lead, going in long, getting back on it. Snabikla using his body. Curtis cutting across. In there is Hately again. Gee, he covered some ground. He was the player at centre wing involved in it just a fraction of a second ago. Now we see him in the right forward pop. Still trying to pick the Port Adelaide player that went off. I think it was Wayne Marnie. And it may well be that Bradley is roving with Belton. Can't see Wayne Marnie out there. Harris got it over to Curtis. He's playing well now. On to Stephen Williams. He's got an open space. Stephen Knight comes down and takes the mark. Beautifully put to him by Stephen Williams. Knight plays it on. That's a floater. Wouldn't like to be under that ball. Bennett got a bad bounce but recovered well. Glenn Hewitt. John Allen. Short to that player and he takes the mark on centre wing. He played it on. Glenn Hewitt's running. The kick up forward to Butler. And the Panthers have played it well along the grandstand flank. Wayne Marnie, it's been confirmed, is on the bench. Port Adelaide players there now. Craig Ebert, Robertson, Drogamala, Slattery, well played. Craig Ebert, great smother on that occasion by Dewhurst, and uh, he would be very high in the best players on the ground at the moment. I'd have to agree, Peter, he's a fine young player, giving Bradley plenty, but Bradley is a proven champion. Brooksby for Corns. Williams, or the handball away wasn't good. Harris, not Harris, that was Hewitt. To Kapler, out of play. A throw in, left half forward flank. South having troubles in attack at the moment. Snabikla and Harris. Harris's tap, Slattery high, in towards the half forward line. Haradine won't go for it. He's got the ball now, hooks around the corner. Harris and Robertson, it's a 2 one man battle. Good bounce! Lux of fortune, South have got it at the moment. 10-7 the Panthers, 10-6 Port Adelaide. Well, that was amazing. An amazing goal. Curtis went back into the pack. Haradine copped a high one, recovered well. What's the two players fighting for the ball? Robertson and Harris go down. That's Darren Harris. That's the biggest leg break I've ever seen. Richie Benno would have been proud of that one. Back to the action. The Panthers by a point. Harris gets the benefit of the bounce, but doesn't get the thump away. Finally, South Adelaide through Fairclough again. Oh, he's allowed to take 10 metres, drives in towards the half-forward line. Big Mark Robertson. Robertson's got it. Safe in defence. Thumps it back towards centre wing and Drogamala. Big Drogamala could even be playing centre on Dewhurst. Kapler, well tackled Drogamala. Oh, the umpire didn't give it. Allowed him to play on. Maybe he didn't retard him. Anderson in towards Williams. Hewitt pushed him in the back, he's got the free kick. 
correct decision. Stephen Williams has got the ball. Screw punt forward. Evans, great knock away then, Brooksby. Clifford's got the run of it. Gets rid of Hakeley in quick fashion. But it's John Allen who swings out the ball. South Adelaide have got the run of it now. Christie, best big man on the ground. Bounces through centre wing. Held onto the ball for a long time. Got the trip, but the umpire said, play on. Ron Hakeley. 15 kicks. Dewhurst, 15 as well. He's a right half forward. Goes back. Short. Harradine touched off the mark. Through comes Stephen Knight. He's a long way away from his half forward flank. Hooks it back. Drogamala. Long handball looking for Curtis. Not good. nail has got too much pace. On it goes to Glenn Hewitt. Belton runs that player down. Up forward, Leslie. Punched forward by Snee Bickler. Very close to the scoring line. As we see John Harvey run it out. In turn to Martin Leslie. He bounces with the left hand. Kicks with the right boot. A chip looking for Dwayne Russell. Corns couldn't quite take the mark. Be set upon. A push in the back. He kicked the ground towards. Unusual movement with his arms, the umpire there. It can be confusing as to what he's pointing out, holding the ball or a push in the back. Corns to the half-back flank, going to the half-forward flank. Through goes Hewitt. Curtis, a great dash at the ball. Bomber Clifford wants it back towards Kepler. Harris in there as well, and the umpire will come in and bounce at centre wing. It's a hard grind out there at the moment. 10-7 the Panthers, 10-6 Port Adelaide. 16 minutes into this third quarter. Christie and Harris, line ball. Williams couldn't, or it's Dewhurst from Kaplap. Put it in towards the half forward line. What a fine diving mark by Curtis. Not paid, obviously the umpire didn't think he'd held onto it. Robertson, high tackle, he'll get this one, and he's got it on the half back flank. Graham Robertson's playing well. Darren Harris has a goal. He's missed a couple of shots though, but uh, Robertson is a pretty cool character taking Dexter Kennedy's place this afternoon. Neat kicking action. Ben Harris pushed under the ball in front, though uh, in front of Bradley was fair quote. Bradley not having a top day. He's had 10 kicks though. Fairclay goes forward. Curtis, oh, big leap, Steve Bickler. Oh, Harradine provided the run, but uh, the South Adelaide vice-captain went back. Darren Harris leading. Now it's on. Intercepting John Harvey, not, not a good movement then by the South Vice Captain. Picking up Naley, hit the post. Well, that was a fine movement forward, but he hit the post and South Adelaide now lead by two points. Didn't know where he came from. How he got in there was amazing. Clifford, good pass. Hately can't catch him. Kick number 14, Palmer and Ebert, and the ball out of play on the outer side. South Adelaide make a change, and we see Slattery coming off. He looks a little bit gimpy, whether or not he's uh, he's got a damaged muscle. Brooksby back on again. Christie, try to find Bennett. Ebert gives a chance now to Bradley. Fairclough after him. Bradley puts it in the air. Bennett back. Big leap, Belton. He's got it. Paid. Oh, Bennett was in front. Had every chance, but Belton got the sit. Stayed up there. Got his hands to it. Right catch at the second attempt. Paul Belt. Kick number 13. He was everywhere in the first half. Been a little quieter this quarter. His third goal. Port Adelaide resumed the lead. 11-6 to South Adelaide 10-8. Well, it's amazing when you look at the statistical setup of this game. You wonder how the Magpies are still in it, but they're, they're very efficient when they go forward. The Ebert handball to Bradley was good. And it's players like Belton that are keeping the Magpies into it. Up it goes for a good mark, and he kicked the goal, Rick Keegan. Looking at a close game here at Adelaide Oval, and when we look at close games between Port Adelaide and South here at the Adelaide Oval, then Port have got a big advantage. They've won 11 games by less than one goal. South have won only two of those. Harris up. Kapler in. Clifford couldn't get rid of the ball. Kapler again. Corns. Gives a chance, Dewhurst, south end to attack. Harris on the lead, that's a great pass. Well, he couldn't get there. He booted it on the full, right back to Dewhurst, who sets it all up again. This time it's Harradine, he got bowled. Great pick up there by Craig Ebert. Gives a chance now, Kinnear smothered off the boot. Errors, Harradine, Dewhurst, 
back now. Darrell Hewitt puts it in the air, won't make the distance. Harris getting back on it, up one-handed. Butler hooks over his shoulder, but it was well smothered. Harvey, Naley, nowhere to go, snookered right on the boundary line, and Harvey will clear when he runs the ball over now to Clifford. Port Adelaide with time to run the ball out of defence towards centre wing. Russell and Corns, Russell too strong again. She's got a strong pair of hands. Nine, nine kicks or nine marks in towards the forward pop. Leslie. Kapler there with him. Anderson. Leslie holding the ball. The crowd yelled. And the umpire paid. Good tackle on that occasion by Kapler. He's played well. Kicked two fine goals in the first quarter. A neat looking kick out of defence. Up goes Schneebickler. Got the big ride, didn't take the mark. I'm trying to lay, Corns played it well. Gave Dale Hewitt the run of the ball, but we'll now see the umpire throw it in, right in front of the commentary position. Just the attack side of centre for the Panthers. South have got problems. Brooksby's playing in the forward pocket would indicate he's not well. And, of course, Slattery's off the ground. And also Robin White, of course, in. Ben Harris pushed it down in front. Port Adelaide smaller players still not doing as well as they should. Anderson in front, good mark. Thought about playing it on. Oh, that's a danger kick. Tom Clifford and three Panther players. That's what happens when you go across ground. Short, Hakeley, uh, Harradine. See if Harradine goes long on this occasion. Put it out in front of Snee Bickler. A superb pass and a good catch. Surprising mistake there by Anderson. Snee Bickler, the vice captain of the Panthers, has kicked two. He's probably their roughest, toughest player. One of their best, too. A highly skilled player, John Sneebickler. Taking plenty of time. Gives it every chance. Makes no mistake. Three goals, Sneebickler. The Panthers back in front now. 11-8 to 11-6. A reflex action by young Greg Anderson at centre wing, and he finally crossed. He saw Clifford clear, and had uh, Clifford been able to get to the ball, it would have been OK. But the ensuing south pass was a beauty from Harradine to Sneebickler. Watch this. Flat as a strap he was, good mark, and it was a fine kick for goal. His third, south by two points. Ben Harris and uh, Gary Christie. Christie in screen there. He's played a fine game. Line ball there. Belton missed the run of the ball. Butler in. Out comes Christie. Oh, the kick. He was put off balance on the kick. Port Adelaide should get to this ball through Kinnear. Picked it up cleanly. Bradley short, but it won't go to that player. In fact, it goes further towards Palmer, came off his knee and we'll see the umpire throw it in, left half forward flank. Dwayne Russell will come across for South, there's Wayne Slattery having a bit of a chuckle. I called him without a beard early, that was the photograph of course, he wears a beard now. Out through Bennett to Naley, Naley with that characteristic left footer of his, Ben Harris. Ben Harris having to do the full load now that Baker's off the ground. Ebert is short, Harris will go long. Evans behind Brooksby, now he gets front spot, over the top Harris, but it's a Panther mark, and a great one to Graham Corns. Corns will go in short, but, oh, that's a bad kick, Kinnear runs the gauntlet, fires in towards goal, South have made a mistake, but they haven't paid for it, one point only. Gee, these short passes going astray. Saw how it cost Collingwood a goal yesterday in the VFL. Scores 11-8 South Adelaide, 11-7 Port. South looking just a little bit unbalanced now with Brooksby in the forward pocket and a few problems. Naley has time to steady. Out in front of the Bickler, he won't get that on the volley. Half volley, did it well. He's going for a bounce half, he's going to catch him. Pass underway, what a beauty on the left foot. Harris, easy as you like. Full Gallup has got it 35, 40 metres out. The Bickler playing well now after he was beaten earlier. Harris's sixth kick, and that's a magnificent goal. What a beauty. His second. South Adelaide grabbed the lead. 12-8 to 11-7. Great work by the Panthers as they ran it from one end of the ground to the other. And it was a superb movement by Schnee Bickler off the Naley pass. Actually, the big chap showed a bit of pace here. Harvey couldn't quite grab him. And a kick like that when you're running flat out means that you've got something special. 
South are 80 points, Port Adelaide 73. Approaching time on of the third quarter. What a fine game it's been. Hook back brilliantly. The Bickler to Naley. Naley fires it in towards Anthony Williams. Second grab. He's got it. Oh, took a heavy knock around the head. And he goes down like he's poleaxed. It was uh, Fairclay that came across the front of that pack in. And uh, there's Anthony Williams. We might see it in replay. Up he goes. And there goes the Make your mind up about there. that one. That was right on the edge of the elbow. Williams fires the ball back towards Nabikla. Kapler there as well. Anderson trying to get it. Corns lost it, but he was legged in doing so. And takes the free kick. He runs it quickly across to Butler. Butler tears off to half forward. It'll land in an open space. Gee, Darren Harris has come out a long way. The handball smothered. Anthony Williams did it well. Oh, Bradley let it go. Not playing with confidence today, Craig Bradley. He held on to Naley. Gave away the professional free kick. They might call it the unprofessional free kick in some quarters. Over to Dal Hewitt. Darren Harris again in front. Good mark. Just starting to uh, improve his game now, Darren Harris. He's taken seven marks. He's had seven kicks, so he's a mark and kick man. A high ball into full forward. Up goes Leslie. Fine mark in defence from the Port Adelaide centre half back. It's only Martin. a boy, Harris Peter. He's only 18 years of age. A fine talent. Martin Leslie will clear it now, and we're into time on in. And uh, see, this quarter seems to have gone very quickly. Not a lot of scoring in it. A big punch over the top from Kapler. Craig Ebert. Harris looks like a, a, a boxer. He's got the band aid over the eye. Tries to get rid of Graham Corns. And does. Goes long. Evans on a lead. Didn't look confident, but he got the mark. Oh, he looked like an ice skater when he came out then. Very unsure of his footing. But he went up and took a fine mark. Would be a great morale boost for the Magpies if he could convert. Six kicks only, Tim Evans. The ball coming back, but not far enough. Point, 11-8 to 12-8. South Adelaide leading. Only a goal in it. Close to three-quarter time. Palmer goes to Corns on the outer side. In turn, Butler. Close to the turf. The umpire's paid the mark. Hately provides some run. But Butler's going back. I think he's going to give a handball away to Corns. Back to Butler in the one-two. Now Hately will get it all. Took his eyes off it. Stephen Curtis. Ebert. Here's a chance now. Kinnear. Kinnear on the left leg. Fires one into Clifford. South made a mistake with the hands over the other side. Port Adelaide with a chance. Sets it up. Wayne Russell getting underneath the ball. Good mark. And he can make the distance from here. Lane Russell, about 45, 55 metres out. Kick number 14 coming up. He's been a powerhouse for Port Adelaide at centre half four this afternoon. Taking his time. There's no breeze at all at Adelaide Oval. A perfect afternoon towards the River Torrens end. He's got two. Have a look at this kick. I think he's just offline, however, and the ball will tumble out of bounds in the right forward pocket. Well, it was a gigantic kick, and uh, what a player he is. Made his interstate debut earlier this year against Victoria. Played reasonably well. Evans and Brooksby. Evans put it down, but again, the South Adelaide smaller players through Naley. Running it out of defence. John Allen. Oh, that could have been a mistake. Running it across like that. Kinnear again. Got the kick away, staying down, Stephen Williams. Graham Corns in front. Took the mark. Corns on this occasion goes long. Gee, another mistake. Drop him up. And uh, we might point out something about this player too. He can kick a long way. Seconds big area medalist in 1983. Des Drogmala. Gee, when you rap players, they, they let you down a bit. The siren's gone to end the third quarter. South, 12-8, 80 points to Port Adelaide, 11-8, 74 points. And South may have let them off the hook a little bit, and if they can get a bit of teamwork together, if Bradley suddenly decides that he has got a bit left in him, he'll be back in the centre in this quarter, I can rest assured of that. And if he comes home with a wild sprint, they'll be able to take complete charge of the game, the Magpies. OK, it should be a great last quarter, an important one for both sides. Their call again, here's Ian Day and Peter Marker. Thank you, Rick. 
everything in readiness for the final quarter. South led by seven at quarter time, seven points at half time, and now six as we start the final quarter. Umpire Forster gets the game underway. The crowd starting to make a bit of noise now after a, a strangely quiet day. Harris got it, but it went straight to Naley. The kick is not a good one. Floats towards the half forward line. Schnebeckler comes out with a football, hooks to the vacant space on the outer side. Anderson getting underneath it and takes the mark. Swings back onto the left leg and drives Port Adelaide towards centre wing and Bradley. With him out there is Fairclough, Hewitt and Drogamulla. Hewitt doesn't know where to go. Gets a long hand ball back to Naley. Now South have got a chance. Chips out that short pass out of side. Craig Dewhurst played a fine game. Puts it out in front of Harris. Great mark. No, the umpire hasn't played it or has he? Yes, he has. Robertson right there with him all the way. It appeared he didn't have a big grab of the ball but the umpire has paid the mark in the full forward left pocket. Let's have a look at it again. Wasn't there a great deal of time. The umpire said sufficient. This is his eighth mark. Kick is wobbling, won't make the distance. Big leap in the square. The ball comes out. Here's a chance. Haradine shrugs the tackle, left foots it. And I think it was probably touched off the boot and a point only results. He did it well though, Haradine. He scouted the pack well and uh... This is one area where the Panthers have been dominant all day, and that's when the ball comes to the ground. Their quicker, smaller players are reading the Magpies alive. But uh, notwithstanding that, the Magpies are still in there fighting. Big leap, Martin Leslie had about as much of that ball as Darren Harris had. The umpire will bounce. He's not too happy. He thinks he marked it. Oh, well. Trailing by seven points, Port Adelaide. Ben Harris and uh, Christie had a pretty even quarter. Oh, big leap there by Harris. Daryl Hewitt, Butler, Naley. The running player is Glenn Hewitt. He loves running down the ground from that back line. Harris again on the lead. Put one hand out, couldn't drag the ball in. Robertson is right on him. The young player did it well. Try to give it over to Kapler. Anderson for Port Adelaide, very close to the line. Well, oh, that's a daisy cutter. He wants Clifford, finds that player. They're still booing when Clifford gets near the ball. Stephen Williams in front, pushes the ball over the line, and we'll see the umpire throw it in. Been a ton of pace. Both teams just getting a little tired now. But it's been a high standard, high class game, befitting the top two teams. Towards the line, Bradley hooks to the half forward line. Russell goes to meet it, Corn's there with him. Russell wants backup support. Try to get it back to Bradley, couldn't quite make the grade, and Hewitt comes out for South Adelaide. Kicks long. Kapler and Anderson. Kapler gets to sit on the ball. Kicks a long one in towards Harris now. Robertson there with him. Can't quite make it. Brooksby tries to limp towards the ball. Obviously, he's in trouble with that left thigh. Not sure whether it's a hamstring or a driving muscle, but whatever. He's hobbling in the left forward pocket. Throw in about 10 metres around. 12-9 to 11-8. Harris. And Schnebeckler. Harris front spot gets a clever tap. Trying to wind his way through was Anthony Williams. Curtis, John Harvey from half-back flank. Harvey will clear Port Adelaide out of trouble. He puts it over to Leslie. Not the best movement you've seen. That was, though. Back it goes to Harvey. This is where Port Adelaide have got trouble, though. Bennett in front. And uh, you don't like the look of Bradley. He doesn't seem to be... Well, he's either not well or way out of form. One of the two. Clean bowl was Dewhurst. The umpire will throw it in. A little while ago, Bradley had a chat with Belton. I think Belton thought that Bradley should have gone onto the ball, but Bradley waved Belton on, and uh, it's unlike Bradley. He loves hard work. Christie then missed the ball. Off hands it comes to Kapler. Uses the right boot. Wobbles one forward. Leslie in front. Played it well. That's a good movement, Leslie. Stephen Curtis runs through the centre. Here's a chance for big Tim Evans. Up he goes. The punch away. Dwayne Russell shrugs the tackle, puts a high ball in, but that's offline, and it's a point. It's amazing, Ian, how uh, Dwayne Russell can shrug those tackles. He's a powerful man, isn't he? Peter, they just don't seem to be able to grab him at all. You'd think he'd be glazed up with oil the way he just slips past them. Fine kick out by Corns. Dewhurst, Drogamulla can't get there. Kicks long to the half forward line. Stabickler got up very early. Poor oh, G got the sit. Lucky he got the mark. Naley now running for South. Curtis can't cut him off. On the leaders, Harris beautifully put again. And G South Adelaide have been looking for their full forward this afternoon. Darren Harris has only got two. Two goals, one he's kicked. 
45 metres out. South would love a goal right now. They're up by six points. Harris's kick is high. It's going to be awful close. I think he's made the grade. What the umpire said. Goal! His serve. South Adelaide kick clear. 13-9 to Port Adelaide 11-9. The big crowd loving the game, but there's some danger signs up, in my view, for Port Adelaide. Particularly across half forward. Dwayne Russell is the only forward at the moment. Through goes Naley, and you'll see the, the grab of Darren Harris. The kick was even better. Jogger Muller off, Marnie on. Port Adelaide need runners. Centre bounce. Christie gets the benefit of it, thumps it, but it goes straight to Clifford. To the half forward line, Corns in the road, he'll get run down. Gets the kick away, not a good one. Kinnear, tackle, has to throw it away. In goes Corns, Russell, Allen against the tide, did it well. Left foot south of the half forward line. Up goes the Bickler, one grab, can't complete it. Comes past Harris, can't get a handball away. Fight out now to Ebert from Leslie. Ebert to the leader, Bradley getting back there. Knight, Bradley into the open goal. He'll bolt, settles, gives it a chance. Put it out of it, number 12. Bradley's first, they close the gap to one straight kick. Well, that's why Port Adelaide are so good. Even when they're down, they're very, very efficient up forward when they get a clean ball running through a half forward as they've got now. Over the top, and they have a look at that for acceleration. Off he goes, and kicks truly for his first goal. That may give Bradley a bit uh, to go on with. He's averaging 27 or 31 disposals this year, so uh, he's a real champion. Ebert and Naley having little funny plays at the centre bounce. The bounce down goes. Harris gets it to Ebert, but he can't get it away. Naley through. He hasn't got the football. Naley comes out on top. South Adelaide allowed to play on. Dewhurst a long kick up towards the hobbling Brooks. He's got it. Oh, gee, he made hard work to get there. Stry heavily strapped. Thigh heavily strapped. Now, can he kick it? From memory, he's a left footer. Now, have I got him right? I think he's a left footer. This is going to hurt. 35 metres out, 45 degree angle, kick number six. Kick underway. Gee, that's threaded through the middle. South Adelaide edge away again. His first goal. The Panthers 14-9, Port Adelaide 12-9. Well, the Panthers seem to be much more interested in winning this game than the Magpies do. They're working harder. Came out of the centre. Russell Ebert goes down. Naley, well, I agree, didn't have the ball, but the umpire let it play on. And Brooksby hobbled out and took the mark and kicked truly. Christie against Harris. Christie gets the tap away. This time it's Bradley. Fires the ball to the half forward line. Palmer up. Oh, here's another chance. Knight. No way Allen will catch him on the left foot. Chips. Pull it after the challenge. Fine goal. And do you think Stephen Knight is very happy? His first. Again, one kick the difference. Well, that's the way Port Adelaide get them. If they put it up forward quickly, they've got the players there to kick the goals. Stephen Knight, in similar fashion to Bradley, three or four minutes ago, shot truly for his first goal, and uh, Stephen Knight loves kicking goals. He's averaged 2.33 goals per match this year. Developing into a tremendous tussle. Port Adelaide can't quite bridge the gap. One straight kick down. Once again, it's Port Adelaide who are taking away Christie's knocks. Bradley to the half forward line. Allen can't find the bounce. Sucked over Clifford. Port Adelaide should equal the score. Umpire doesn't move. Clifford second. Even Stephen. Both teams, 14 goals, nine. Well, it's been a great move to get uh, Bradley back into the middle. He's not in the middle. He's roving, by the way. He's changing with uh, Belton, I think. He got... The kick away from the centre, and uh, it was a great punch forward by Stephen Williams. Straight to Bomber Clifford, and the Bomber didn't make a mistake from there for his second. Scores are level. We're approaching the 10-minute mark, and the game is certainly fired up now. Christie getting the taps, but the Panther smaller brigade can't take the ball away. A good bounce. Harris gets up. This time he takes it. Belton jams it onto his boot. The Magpies in the road again. Out comes Bennett. Can't quite get there. Hately close to the line. He's died out of the game a little bit. Try to get the handball away, but it's out of play right in front of the members' stand. The pace still on here at Adelaide Oval. There's Gary Christie. 
Mark's done a line-hearted job today. Ben Harris gets in front. Down it goes, looking for Marnie. You get a free kick for a high tackle, allegedly. Ebert takes off. Down he goes. It'll be free after disposal. Ebert has a word to Bennett. Marnie pats his captain coach on the back. The umpire has a word to Bennett as well. Everybody's having a word to Bennett. Popular man. Wayne Russell has the chance to put the Magpies in the lead. 16 kicks, Dwayne Russell. Winds them up. It's an important one for him. He's taken eight big marks as well. He's kicked two goals. He hasn't got three. That's a point. Port Adelaide in front. 14-9 the Panthers. 14-10 the Magpies. They haven't been in front too often. Dewhurst to the outer side. That's a good kick. Evert won't get there. Dewhurst easily. Kick number 21 coming up as he fires the ball back towards centre wing. Kapler in front. Anderson thumps away. Who's going to get the crumbs? Butler in there. Clifford at the bottom of the pack. Fires it out now. Bradley a chance. He puts the Magpies into attack again. Palmer getting back. Thumps the ball away. Comes out with the ball. Gets out a handball. Not a good one. Ebert smashes away a handball. South Adelaide get it away now through Glenn Hewitt. In turn, the ball goes over. Marnie. Marnie in the pocket, showing a lot of pace. Hewitt can't catch him. Marnie hooks around the corner, close to the line, and the ball will go out of play in Port Adelaide's right full forward pocket. Well, the battle for top spot is on, and uh, Port Adelaide are charging now. I still feel as though the Panthers have got plenty left, though. Corns over the top. The overhand handballed it out. Here's a chance, though, Evans. Stephen Knight. Down he goes, pushing the back. Des Foster was metres away from that incident. Have a look at it in replay. That is a free kick. Actually, it looked worse in replay than it did in the normal play. It turned out to initially look like a push in the back, but it also ended up as a high tackle right in the back of the head. There's been a few of those today. Stephen Knight, kick number 10. Through the middle. He doesn't miss many. Two goals, Knight. Port Adelaide, 15-10. The Panthers, 14-9. The Panther defence made some bad mistakes this afternoon. Port Adelaide getting it through far too easily at the moment. A very clumsy tackle. They had a chance to clear it here. A drop ball by Naley. You'll see Allen had a chance too. Lost his footing. Evans gets it out. And now the clumsy tackle. No question it was a free kick. And Port Adelaide kick clear by seven points. The moment of truth now for the Panthers. Jim, you've got to go way back to the first quarter to see a Port Adelaide lead. Graham Corns there would be very, very anxious. He wants top spot. Ben Harris wins it on that occasion. Hately very quickly to Naley. Naley nearly got met heavily by Kinnear. He didn't go on with it, though. Martin Leslie. I was going to say that was a danger ball, but it was a good one. Bomber Clifford. The crowd, half of them love him. The rest of them hate him. Off he goes. Butler looks weary. Dwayne Russell up. Oh, big mark. What a great game he's played. Bradley's running down the centre. Have a look at that for a leap. You need oxygen when you get up that high. A big kick forward. 15 metres as well. And that goes against Stuart Palmer. Dwayne Russell. He's been Port Adelaide's only real forward for four quarters. The others have chipped in and out. 17 kicks. And nine big marks. None bigger than that one, though. Powerful kicker of the football coming right into the square, just offline. Port Adelaide 15-11, the Panthers 14-9. Well, what a brilliant player he's been for Port Adelaide this afternoon. Blood streaming down from his eye. Corns breaks into the pocket. South Adelaide have got a lift now. Corns drives back towards centre wing. Holding ground there, Christie. Bennett. Christie again close to the line. South can't keep it in play. And they've lost the magic touch that they had earlier on. Port Adelaide applying the pressure. The Magpies in front by eight points. Still ten minutes plus time on to go. Back towards Ebert and Dewhurst. Belton can't get clear. And the umpire said the ball was held to that player. Getting back to Dwayne Russell, what great form he's in with the state game coming up next week. If he can continue that form, it'll be great for South Australia. Christie. Darrell Hewitt, 
Nail, he's going to get caught. Holding the ball. Standing flat-footed when he got the handball. Bradley plays off, but he's going to go back and give it to Stephen Williams. <laughs> it's worth a try. Williams from the half-forward left flank. No pressure put on him. Kicks in long. Evans, Brooksby, three on one back there. Palmer over the top, fine mark. South Adelaide now can't get the ball clear. They got it to Hewitt this time. Now, Dewhurst provides a bit of run, but they're going out to centre wing where Fairclough's got the opportunity. South need a goal, and they need it quickly to recover. Port Adelaide got the initiative. Fairclough kicks long to the half forward line. Here's a chance. Harradine can't quite bring it down. Defence there by Port Adelaide's Leslie. In goes the Bickler. Bradley over the top, and the umpire will come in for the bounce. Gee, in South Adelaide had a free player then. Dewhurst made a lot of ground. He was just hovering behind half forward. If Harradine knew it, he would have belted it on, and South would have run into a goal for sure. Big Harris high. Craig Ebert, the quick kick away. Stephen Williams and Palmer. Well done, Stephen Williams. Here's another go for Port Adelaide. Have a look at that for a pass. Right out in front of Belton. Through he goes, all over the top. A chance, Stephen Knight. The ball didn't quite sit for him. He's got to come back onto the left boot. Evans, Brooksby, Evans in front. Puts through for a point. And Port Adelaide are attacking more now. They're 15-12 to South 14-9. Looking at confidence side, Peter. They're going to take a power of beating from here. The Magpie steadying like a good side. Brooksby undecided where to go. Decides to kick straight down ground. Horns up high. Oh, what a mark! Beautiful mark over the top of Russell. Well, he's been doing it to the other players all afternoon. Taking those screamers. Now Corn's got 15 metres. Corn's big mark. Drives to the half forward line. Harris can't. The Bickler throws it out. A chance. Fair oh, close. Man. South need a goal. Fairclough hooks it back in towards Brooksby, setting himself, can't bring it down. Fairclough there as well. Umpire has ruled a free kick. Clifford. Out wide out there is Belton. Belton socks down, he's very tired now. Bradley. Bradley's still got plenty of left, didn't really have a look with the kick, and that's what happens. Naley. Top player Naley, he's played well. Runs through the centre of the ground, kick number 21. Big leap behind Martin Leslie, two grabs, three grabs. He'll be paid, now play on, calls the umpire. Off he goes, South Adelaide player standing flat-footed. Stephen Knight. Doesn't need many touches, Stephen Knight. Evans on a lead. The ball put out in front of that player. Up he goes, couldn't take the mark. Off hands, Dwayne Russell. Port Adelaide's best player. Close to the line, the quick kick back, Evans. No mark, Marty. The whistle's gone though, I think it must have been out. Yes, the boundary umpire coming around and he'll throw it in in the right forward pocket for Port Adelaide. About 25 metres around. Port Adelaide by nine points. South starting to struggle. Russell shrugs the tackle and they're going to give him a free kick for a high tackle. He's kicked out of bounds on the full. Adrian Forster says a high tackle. Stu Palmer does not agree. Glenn Hewitt likewise. But Adrian Forster has given the kick to the young Port Adelaide centre half forward about 30 metres out. Where would they be without Dwayne Russell then? Single-handedly, he's lifted them, Peter. Let's have a look at the free. Well, there it is. Draw your own conclusion, but whatever, he's got a free kick. 19 kicks. What a game he's played. This could seal it for Port Adelaide. He's taking plenty of time. Well, that doesn't look good off the side of his boot. I think it's a point only. Out on the full. It's out on the full. Gee, not a good kick at all. South Adelaide breathe again. Well, he certainly hurt South Adelaide all day. It's been a tower of strength. The raging bull. Boy, is he powerful. In front, Anderson. Pushed out of the way. Don't tell me it's Dwayne Russell again. Gee, single-handed. Dwayne Russell. No, what's happening? Goes over to Ben Harris. Harris. Long kick in. Wayne Marnie getting back. In goes Belton. Almost got to the drop of the ball. The umpire will throw it in. Russell Ebert on Dewhurst at the moment. Notice Russell Ebert do a great deal more work in the last quarter and a half. He's come out from that forward pocket. Evans takes the tap. Palmer clears. Glyn Hewitt, he'll want uh, Harradine. The punch away comes, but to no avail. Harradine took a good mark. South Adelaide need a goal. They need it quickly. It'll go over to Hewitt. 
Stewart thought about a handball. The Hakeley is going to get run down again. Good tackle. South Adelaide making mistakes. This could be a goal that Port Adelaide need. Well clear as Russell. It's going towards that player. He's got it all. 30 metres out on his own. Heads for goal. Could be game set match. Goal Russell. His third. Another bad mistake by the South Adelaide defence. And Port Adelaide kick clear 16-12 to 14-9. Well, that was a beautiful kick then by Belton. We'll see it in a minute. Marnie's given them a lot of bite since coming on. Belton, very tired, but the, the kick was superb. None better than that. Blood streaming from the forehead. Off he goes and kicks his third. Best man on the ground, Dwayne Russell. Pressure brings mistakes. Port Adelaide applying that pressure. Snabickler and Harris. Port Adelaide confident now. Hately's died out of the game. South Adelaide can't get any run across centre at the moment except for maybe Dewhurst. But then they're getting beaten across the half forward line. Harris out to centre half forward. But South have got little drive at the moment. They've got problems up forward as you've said Ian. Brooksby at full forward. He's tired. Also injured. Here's a chance though. Harradine. Here's a goal coming up for South. Harris has it at centre half forward. And if the big man can kick straight the Panthers will still be in there with a chance. I was going to mention before, if, uh, if Port Adelaide drop in terms of effort, they could let the Panthers in because they're capable. A big kick from Darren Harris. Through the middle it goes. Four goals to the South Adelaide player. 99 points now, trailing the Magpies, 108. Well, it could be the tonic that South Adelaide needed. This time it was Hewitt who read the knock from Harris. Well, Harradine used his body by Darren Harris. He thought about playing on perhaps, but when he saw Leslie getting back, he quickly decided, I can make the distance, and just as well he did. Averaging over five goals per game for the season. South are now down by nine points, and we've played 23 minutes of the final quarter. Not long to go. Ben Harris and Schneebickler having a run now. Harris high, pushes it down. Corn's got there first. Ebert's got the ball now. Clifford. Tried to get rid of it, but couldn't. We'll have a rebounce. A big buzz around the ground at the moment. No one's left, that's for sure. Harris, Snee Bickler, Bradley over the top, got it clear. Stephen Williams dispossessed. Ben Harris again took it off hands. Here's a chance, Stephen Knight. Dwayne Russell couldn't mark the ball south. A chance now, Glenn Hewitt. Kicks it up to half forward. Martin Leslie behind. He's fallen over at the wrong time. Sneebick was still showing pace. Oh, he's got the big chance. He had a ton of time. He didn't have to kick that quickly. There's no one near him in. Oh, he was brilliantly shepherded, Peter. He, his teammate, I can't think who it was, took care of. Harris took care of his uh, the player that was chasing him. And it was probably Leslie, the player, who's coming up a little bit limpy. But uh, he had the big chance, but kicked under no pressure at all and kicked it out of bounds on the full. Leslie, Snebekla, the umpire said push in the back. South still in there fighting. Approaching time on of the final quarter. What a quarter it's been, or what a game it's been. Bradley looking around to see what's going on. Snebekla's got the free kick. That's if he's got the strength to take it. 12 kicks, Snebekla. Played a good game, quite early. Into the pocket goes Harris, or is it Harradine? He's got it, but he's right in tucked on the pocket. Very difficult shot indeed. Harradine could make the distance all right, but the accuracy is problematical. Christie thinking about the lead. Harradine confident of making the distance. But gee, there's the line. In fact, he's out of play when he starts his approach to kick. Nice looking drop putt. Up by has and moves. Oh, what a kick. His second goal. And South Adelaide miraculously are only three points down. Well, they're the kicks that win games. South Adelaide won't give up, and uh, as I mentioned before, Port Adelaide, if they drop away at all, South will take it off them because there are enough Panther players out there with enough in their legs to win this game. Port Adelaide now will have to show character to come back again. Well, Peter, I thought South Adelaide were gone, but they're showing character. Now it's a line ball against Bradley. A free kick to fair close centre field. South to go into attack, down by three points, a long kick. Getting underneath the ball is Brooksby, can't quite get there. Butler raising some energy. The handball comes out of chance. Hately takes it towards the line. And the ball is out of bounds. Right half forward flank. 
into time on the final quarter. What a butler. Port Adelaide by three points. Anybody's game. A fitting result would be a draw. Hewitt high in towards full forward. Going up here. Oh, what a brilliant turn. Unbelievable. 30 metres out. Imagine the pressure on 18-year-old Darren Harris. Only 35 metres out, 45 degree angle. Marks 11, goals four. It's 11th kick, got them all from Marks. An important kick for the Panthers. Kick underway, he's drilled it right through the middle and South Adelaide are back in the, free, in the lead. They're giving plenty the Panthers. And they've got a lot of supporters here today too. Pushing them on. Port Adelaide have stopped. A stop to a walk. Harris came in from the clouds. A big mark and an even better kick for goal. South in front now by three points. There's enough time left for a couple more scores though. Plenty of time, Peter. Now it's the Magpies' turn to come back. Harris against the Bickler. What a game it's turned out to be. Harris gets in there, thumps the ball clear in towards Dwayne Russell against the ties to Bickler. Very tight, hooks around the corner. Glenn Hewitt! Back it up. Got the football. Fire South Adelaide into attack. Out comes Christie. Robertson there as well, the first recover. Curtis in there looking for the football, and the umpire will bounce the ball 30 metres out in front of the South Adelaide goal. Umpire is Foster right on the spot. We're into time on. In fact, it's a free kick. Curtis goes out wide. Belton. Don't know the reason for the free kick. A high ball. Oh, that might find a Port Adelaide player. Corns behind the pack. Got it out to Daryl Hewitt. He's picking up important touches too in this quarter. Naley has it at left half forward flank. He'll take a ton of time, Naley. 22 kicks to the South champion. He'll take all day. You can't blame him. Time is important. A torpedo punt to the teeth of goal. The big pat forms over the top. Hakeley caught by Williams. Williams is caught by Brooksby. Out it goes to Curtis. He clears for Port Adelaide. Oh, Corns under the ball. Stephen Knight comes in. Great mark, Corns. Oh, he played it on. That was a mark. If I've ever seen it, that was a mark. Have a look at it in replay. Well, perhaps the umpire saw something we didn't. The kick on by Russell. Evans up. Straight through the hands. Bradley and Allen. Allen fell over. In came Wayne Marnie, under the left boot, oh, close, but not close enough for Port Adelaide. They trail now by two points. Graham Corns would not be happy. South Adelaide by two. What a dramatic finish. Port Adelaide bench looking a little forlorn at the moment. Getting underneath the ball is Palmer, can't take the mark. Belton raises a gallop, back in defence, Hewitt. Naley, under pressure, great tackle put on him. Ebert back there, slips out the handball, Belton, here's a chance for the Clifford! Oh, what a mark! Port Adelaide answered the challenge! Bomber Clifford, 30 metres out in front, a mistake by South Adelaide, Corns late on the scene, and now the Port Adelaide character has got a chance to put the Magpies back in front and maybe so up the game. Kick number 21 coming up, now time is on Port Adelaide's side. Ebert, what would he be thinking now, like the rest of us? Can Clifford do it? Clifford kicks. Umpire getting underneath the ball. The Magpies have got it. Back in front. Clifford's third goal. He's played well, Stephen Clifford. It doesn't matter what you think about him. He's given plenty. Naley made the mistake. One of the few that he's made. Out it went to Belton. What a top game Belton's played. He gave it to Bomber Clifford. And the Port Adelaide run-on player kicked. A vital goal, perhaps the most important go goal of his career. Final siren must be only seconds away. Can South Adelaide do it now? At the centre bounce to Bickler and Harris. The ball comes out towards Hately. Allen goes through, gives it to Corns. Corns has run down. The umpire's yeah. given him a free kick. South Adelaide probably with their last chance coming up now. The second's ticking away. Ebert not in a hurry to give it back. Corns has got it. He's got to play on in a hurry. Kicks long towards the half forward line. Out comes Harris. He can't get it. Back in defence. Bradley sets it up. Ebert. Got it with the ball. Back to Bradley in the 1 2. 
Goes for a run. Well done, Bradley. Fires for the line. Safe to the line. Seconds ticking away. Down goes Russell behind Pay. But Port Adelaide have got the ball. Safety in their forward lines. Well, he came in and uh, applied the shepherd. Dwayne Russell, that's what happened to him in. He went down, though. He's played a great game. Evans was in front. Marnie will let it go over the line. You can bet on that. Port Adelaide are four points in front. Dwayne Russell, I tell you what, there's blood streaming from the temple. He's played one of the big games seen at Adelaide Oval. Bennett, through comes Palmer. South Adelaide won't give up. They've got the run of it now. Darrell Hewitt to Glenn Hewitt. Here's a chance. Dewhurst in the middle. Russell Ebert searching for the ball. Back it comes. Dewhurst. Down he goes. Got the handball clear. Ben Harris. Got the quick kick away. Oh, it's conceded ground, though. Anderson, with a ton of pace, gets there first. Tackle, holding the ball. Oh, great tackle on that occasion, Butler. He went to play on. Umpire Foster came in. Well, he appeared to play on. He's played on now. Kepler. Kepler puts a long ball forward. South that late, still a chance. Over the top they go. Dale Hewitt. The kick around the corner, Hakeley. Up high, great mark, Craig Ebert. Oh, what a desperate mark. The siren must go at any time now. Seven minutes of time on gone. Ebert goes for the short pass, and he's found his brother. Now watch Russell take a minute to kick the football. Goes up towards centre, Harris. Oh, he's got a hit for goal. About 45 metres out. Siren about to go any time. Fancy Ebert making a mistake like that in the final moments. Harris is a huge kicker of the football. 45 metres out. Imagine the pressure on the youngster. Soren must go any second. Harris taking his time. Soren going. Oh, Soren's gone. Oh, this kick could win the game. Unbelievable pressure. Oh, yeah. Port Adelaide players streaming back in defence. Yeah, and that's a huge kick. That's a gigantic kick. He'll have to kick that 60 metres and their crowd streaming onto the ground. Port Adelaide moment. by four points. This can win the game. Can he do it? He's booted five. Kick underway. It's going to be close. It's going to be awfully close. I think he's kicked it. Oh, what an unbelievable finish. That would be the most electrifying finish I have seen in 20 years of calling football. Peter Marker. South have won it. I tell you what, Ian, that, go, that takes one back to the 1965 preliminary final when Peter Mead did the same thing to South Adelaide. An amazing finish to a great game of football. Darren Harris is the hero. South Adelaide have won 18 goals, 9 to Port Adelaide, 17-13.